So I was sitting here minding my own business. That's what I was doing. Minding my own business. And I look up and I see a response video. You know, everybody, everybody wants to call me a Calvinist. And then so I see this one guy uh, say that. What did he say I was? I, I sm no, I was Calvinist E smell. I smelled Calvinish E or something like I don't know, something like that or whatever. Uh, but <clears throat> I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and try to ignore him. But then he made a video, made a video, uh, not so much saying that I was a Calvinist, but he wanted to kind of deal with the tenets of Calvinism and that where I might be wrong. Now, it's possible. It is possible. Matter of fact, I've said before that being a smart Christian means that you have to recognize what you don't know and you lean even heavier on the scriptures. And it makes you kind of go back and look at the scriptures and make sure that what you say is so or what you might what might not be so uh, in, in your thought, uh, it can be corrected. And so you want to be humble about that. And I, I, I did my best to be humble about it. I did my I did my very best to be humble, but I wanted to kind of, you know, may, maybe he'll go away. Maybe maybe he'll leave me alone. But no, he wouldn't leave me alone. He would not leave me alone. Wants to keep messing with me. And I said, you know what? That's fine. You want to mess with me? Come on, please. Come on. Come on over here. Come on in there. Let's show walk. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're going to limp back. You walk over, but you're limping back. Now don't don't let the gray hair fool you. I ain't no easy win. So I just want to, without further ado, I want to bring on Mr. Seiko Woods, who disagrees with two of my tenants. Seiko, how are you doing, sir? Doing good. What's going on, brother? Um, it, wonderful. How, as we said before, how good it is for two bald brothers to dwell together in unity. And so we have that. I was hoping that when you came in, you had your hat off. I was going to tell you to take your hat off in my, in my place. I'm so glad uh, that's, that's I, I, only, I only did that. I only did that because I didn't feel like wearing it. Not because of what you think about me. Okay. You that's, know that. Listen, that's cool too. That's cool too. <laughs> I, I was going to mute your, mute your mic until you did. <laughs> now, but real anyway, quick, I don't see you on my end. I see you on my device. So okay. remember, you know what I'm I, saying? I mean, I, I, I can see you on my phone, but I don't see you on, on, on my end of the ecamm. Right? I don't know what, what, what that is. I don't... It, okay. That might be an, an uh, a software issue because it used okay. to be that you could. I don't know what the deal is, but as I'm, I'm looking bring, at, I'm bring at you on both, my end over here, then yeah, I bring yeah, you on we're, my, we're, 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 we're good on both, and so whatever I yeah. see here is what is what they see here, and so yep, yeah. Um, so we, as they so we, we don't have to worry about it. As as they said, don't worry about the uh, mule going blind, just load the wagon. So you ain't got to worry about nothing. Just sit there and uh, let me have my way with you. That's what. <laughs> All right, no, but, let's get it. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness, yeah. guys, uh, there are people have been asking, am I a Calvinist over and over? And there are two issues that I disagree with Calvinism. Now, again, I'm not one of these people because I think there are a lot of people out there that think that uh, Calvinist is a heresy. Calvin, and if, if you think that Calvinism is heresy, then you're just being you're, you're biblically um, immature. You've got some growing to do because the issue with Calvinism versus those who aren't Calvinists, it's not an issue of how we come, I mean, how to become saved. That's not the issue. It's the mechanism leading up to it. In other words, who is preempting this? Who's causing this? Is it man's uh, desire? Is it man's uh, wanting to choose? Or does God take the first step? Now, let me say this, because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm kind of clear on this. I have stated in the past that I believe that mankind can choose God. Now, notice what I did not say. I did not say that mankind will choose God. I think there's a big difference. I think that in history, and I'll look at some passages too, and of course, Seiko will give me his, that there are passages that demonstrate that mankind can choose, just not consistently. And so I believe that ultimately every, let me get this straight, guys, everybody that comes to Christ has done so because of a work of God first that pre that uh, uh, starts off the, uh, man's choice. God chooses, then man chooses. But the issue that I take with uh, this issue of total depravity is how depraved the man is. And so I just want to put that out. I believe that if, if, if it's possible that both can be true to some degree, uh, I think I mean to show that. And so I want to go ahead and give the floor over to, to Seiko, but he's got some points to make in terms of where I'm wrong. And of course, the way we're going to do this, guys, we'll be going back and forth. This is not a formal debate. We're not upset each other. Although, although 
Seiko's probably the only person out there in the YouTube sphere that uh, I have no problem with hurling insults at. And so <laughs> he's, he's the only one. <laughs> so but, see, I, I have to deal with this first. Let, let me just deal with this so that Seiko won't have to deal with this. Um, Jesus Christ is Lord 911. He, wicked how? And I want you all to be clear. I want you to understand something. And you say so because simply you just... You, you, don't, you say so because either it's a heart issue or head issue with you, but it's not a biblical issue, meaning that uh, Calvinists believe that you must place your faith in Christ. You believe, if you're a Christian, that you must place your faith in Christ. No difference. The issue is, does God work in them ahead of time and cause them to do so or not? Both believe that you must uh, make a profession of faith in Christ. You believe the same thing. So how is that wicked? Stop being babes or immature when it comes to this thing. Now, um, we're not going to ban you, but if you're going to go throughout this, this live stream saying those things, they will ban you. Oh, by the way, moderators, there's another group of people that you have to ban also. Uh, well, two groups, I'm sorry. Obviously, the Hebrew Israelite ban is always in play. But secondly, uh, in our discussion between myself and Mr. Woods, depending upon who's right and who's wrong, if you, moderators, if you find someone disagreeing with me and agreeing with Seiko, please ban them for good. <laughs> All right. That's so, I'm, I'm so basically in another, <laughs> in, 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 in the words of, of, of Michael Jackson on, on the Wiz, you can't win, right? You I can't, you like this, like, like the Cowboys fans, you can't win. <laughs> you can't win. Okay. Can't win. All right. Anyways. The, the, the deck is stacked. The deck is stacked. The, the deck is stacked. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, go ahead, Seiko. I'm sorry. Yeah, but so I, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you know you laid out all of the uh, you know the housekeeping rules and and, and a few disclaimers. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there're going to be people that are going to watch this stream, if not watching it now, if not and if not watching it later, uh, that's going to probably believe or think that this is bad blood. There is no bad blood. We just have a disagreement on two of the five, um, and, and and I believe that this is something that is important. I believe it is a good thing for us to have this discussion because it, it, I think it would accomplish two things. Number one, it would accomplish that people can people can disagree, but we can have a public discussion, public dialogue, and not uh, uh, walk away with it being any any hard feelings or any type of animosity. Number two, it also shows us that we desire to hold to what the word of God uh, teaches and, and believes. And I believe that that sets a precedence and an example for for uh, for us to follow. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for this to 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 go down. Uh, I've been waiting for it. I was waiting for you to come on out of your hiding hiding spot, sir. Come on, please. Come on. Come over here. Come on in there. Let's show walk. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're going to limp back. You walk over. Was you limping back? Now don't don't let the gray hair fool you. I ain't no. <laughs> I I know I know you had to get your little furniture and your little you know your little <laughs> background set up and everything. I told I told Corey that you know it looks like he's sweating like he in court, but he said that's not it. He said it's the lighting. Okay, no problem. It is what it is. It's Let's the Holy Ghost. It. It's what it is. It's the, yeah, that's it's. The, he says the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Okay, fine, whatever. But <laughs> look like he it looked like he a brother sweating in court. He looked no, like he, look. he, he like he had been in family court. That's what shine, like. my right. normal shine. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, so what brings us here? We wanted to talk about the doctrines of grace, i.e., I. Uh, uh, tulip, i.e., Calvinism, and and again, you had mentioned about the two of the five points that we disagree with, which is number number one, total depravity, and then also limited atonement which would be the uh, the third one um, out of the five. So I want to um, I want people to understand what my position is. Number one, I believe that the word of God is the final authority. I do not I do not have my own personal opinion regarding salvation. What I mean by that is, is that if the scriptures teach a particular doctrine and I'm not talking about this one verse or one passage and we just write on that. No, I believe in, in the totality of scripture. I believe that the word of God speaks uh, when it comes to issues of faith, life and practice. We can glean from certain principles. But if God says that he has done something, uh, then I hold to that and I hold to its literal, grammatical, historical context and interpretation. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that man, um, apart from the saving grace and work and power of God, cannot save himself. Even on his best day, he cannot. 
even if he wanted to, he could not because his nature has been his nature has been tainted with sin. It has been affected through and through with sin. It does not mean he's going to do everything uh, that he could do, but it does mean that since Adam fell in the garden, Genesis three, that Adam being our federal head, Romans five twelve, he when he sinned, we all sinned because we were in we were in Adam, and until or unless God invades the human soul. And until or unless God makes man alive to respond to divine stimuli, then he would never respond because he is dead. If we're, if we're going to say what man is, and if, and if we look at the autopsy of man, spiritually speaking, but, he, but, but God uses in, in his word, he gives us physical examples on how, how man is apart from the saving grace of God. He's dead in trespasses and sins. He's hostile to the things of God. He's a hater of God. He's a slave to sin and foreign to righteousness. He, he cannot do anything good, not even one. I'm talking about from a salvific standpoint. Yes, a sinner can walk a person across the street, but that is not going to pass when it comes time to stand before a thrice holy God and give an account for the deeds that they have done in his body. That has nothing to do with God choosing to save him because of any good thing that he may have done, humanly speaking. It has everything to do with what did he do with his son. And if he rejects, if he rejects the free gift of salvation, it's because his nature has not been changed. And if his nature has not been changed, then his will has not been changed because the will is in concert with what man's nature is. And man's nature is corrupt. Man's nature is foreign to the things of God. And until again, or unless God saves that soul, man will only do what's in his nature. And that is sin. OK. And so now. And, and most of what you said, I agree with. I don't think that there is a person on the planet that can attribute their salvation to them to themselves. Uh, the issue is, and, and maybe it, it has to do a lot with the word dead. Uh, when we say dead in our trespasses and sin and so forth, because I've got something. I've got a question. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you go to a couple of your scriptures, but I've got a question um, that I've got to ask. And I, I, I'm, I'm yet to get right. someone to answer this. Sure. Um, but but I'll but I'll, I'll I'll hold off on on that particular question because you may answer it in your in your scripture. Okay. okay. So uh, we can go to we can go to Genesis one twenty seven. Sure. Um, we know that the Bible says that God made man in His own image, and the image of God He created him male and female. He created man in His own image and in His own likeness. So man's man was created perfect. There was no sin in in, in man, um, and and it shows us also that even in a perfect environment like 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 in eden man would never be as perfect as god mm -hmm. that, that that's for me i believe that that is a, a a key component and a reality that we must grapple and, and and face that even though god created man perfect without sin and placed him in a perfect environment man which is adam chose to rebel man chose to violate god's clear law which god told adam regarding the tree of knowledge of good and evil, not to eat of that tree. When Adam chose to eat of that tree, he plunged all of mankind into sin. Therefore, now all man can do is choose to sin. Man cannot mm -hmm. choose righteousness because man is now in Adam. He is not in Christ until he is saved. So what that means for, what that means is, is now that the, the, the nature or the, uh, the image rather of, of, of man has been tainted with sin. So in Genesis 1.27, I can't really see it on your screen, uh, um, because uh, again, I'm looking at the second screen. It's not on my end. So you may have to read it. I'm not really sure if you can, but, um, but yeah, so you probably may have to read it for it. 127. So God yeah. created man in his own image in the image of God. He created him male and female. He created them. Yeah. Okay. Then they go to chapter, chapter five, uh, verse one. I'm, I'm going to look at my other device as I read along with you as on that one as well. Okay. Genesis chapter five, verse one. <clears throat> That's how far? Uh, just verse one and then and then verse three. Genesis five, verse one and then verse three. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day when God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. And then verse three, when Adam lived 130 years, he became the father of a son in his own likeness, according to his image and named him Seth. So the difference that you see, there's a change in, 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 in not in the sense that, that man has, has stopped being made in the image of God. But after sin, when man when man had sinned or Adam has sinned, now 
those that comes from his progeny are made in his image and his likeness. Yes, we still we still have the Imago Day, but the Imago Day has been tainted with sin. And so now sinners beget sinners. So we see the first murder that happened in Genesis chapter four. Mm -hmm. We see that we Cain killed Abel. We, we see all these sins now come out of out of what Adam did by choosing to rebel in the garden. And notably, also, it wasn't until Adam sinned that sin came. When Eve, when Eve chose to eat of the fruit, nothing, nothing happened. It was only until when Adam sinned that their eyes were open and they realized that they were naked and then they hid themselves. So when we when we talk about the the depravity of man, we're not talking about that man is is he is uh, 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 utterly depraved. But it means that in the totality of his of his of his being, that everything, his mind, his will, his emotions, all of that has been affected and infected by sin so when we talk when we talk about it, uh in, in genesis 5 we see that there that the image uh has been tainted and now adam is begatting and adam is having children in his own image and his own likeness yes man is still made in the in imago day they're still made in the image of god but now adam is be adam is having his own progeny his own lineage his own descendants now having that sin nature also in in them as well too Genesis chapter six, verse five, we can turn there as well and we can read that. Um, and I'm looking at my device and you can, you can, you can uh, put it up on the screen and I'll, and I'll read it once you pull it up. It's there, go ahead, you go ahead, sir. Okay, um, maybe mine is delayed, let me see. Hold on. Oh, you're talking about looking at your, uh, okay, you're looking at the live stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. because I, thought, I, I thought you had your, your, uh, your software. I thought well, you, I, I can, yeah, I can put up on my on my end here, so that way. Yeah, see, because what what I what I thought was, I thought you actually had a Bible to read off of. I didn't know you was just depend on mine. I, I thought you had a Bible. Now, 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 for the record, ladies and gentlemen, let me just stop this lie right here. <laughs> see, that's because the devil is a liar. He I is. I thought you had a Bible. <laughs> and now, now, the, the devil is a liar. He, he's a liar because behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen, the brother asked me. He said, "Hey, man, listen, listen, man, listen, listen." Uh, uh, you had any scripture, brother, that you, that you can uh, give me before we uh, get started? So I can put it up on my on my accordance. I said, "Yeah, Corey, I'll go ahead and do that for you." Yeah, yeah, man. Go, you know what, man? You know what? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that for me, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and and put it up on here, and uh, hopefully I can, I can do it right now because we, we run, I know we're running late, and uh, uh, but go ahead and give it to me. You, you say how many verses we got in Genesis? I say we got five. I'm gonna pull up in Genesis. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. I say I say we got two in Jeremiah. Okay, got two in Jeremiah. Okay, that's good. That's good, man. So this that's what happened, ladies and gentlemen, behind the scenes. So there you go. Be a lion acting as though, yeah, I know, bro. That's Take okay, go, Mr. Woods. Mr. Woods, what I'm saying, what the point I'm trying to make is that there is no point to be made. That's all it is. That's, that's, no that's all right, yeah. You ain't, yeah. <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. It's, it's, it's your live. I, I know that. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah. Even though we probably saw my cast, that's cool. So I'm gonna look at mine. <laughs> no, but listen, no, if, if you got your, I'm just playing, but if you got yeah, your, we good. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. So yeah, go, go ahead and read yours, and, I, and I'll, I'll make sure that, it, that, that the yeah. audience can see it. So, Genesis chapter six, verse five, I'm reading from the NAS. It says, then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Look, look at look at the progression of sin and how God himself says that every intent of the thoughts of man's heart was only evil. I mean, we can't we can't we can't deny that. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse uh, verse nine. Jeremiah okay. 17, nine. And we're, we're talking about the subject of the total depravity of man. Jeremiah 17, 9, and it reads, The heart is more deceitful than all else and desperately sick. Who can understand it? It doesn't say that the, that the heart of man is, is, is okay, it has a flaw. No, it says more deceitful than all else and desperately wicked or sick. Who can understand it? And of course, you read verse 10, it says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give to each man according to his ways, according to the results uh, of his deeds. But Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 23, this is interesting. Jeremiah 13, 23, mm -hmm. he says, and the Ethiopian changed his skin. We thought he was talking about Michael. Now, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? The answer is no. So God uses a rhetorical question then also can you do good who are accustomed to doing evil now we know that the author is talking about israel but we're looking at the principles we're looking at what we can draw from these from these texts 
in these passages. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 16. Ezekiel 16. And, and if you want me to stop, Corey, you want to chime in and, and respond to any of them, that's fine. I just want to no, go ahead. I'll, I'll chime in just a little bit. OK, cool. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 1 through 12. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, verse 2, make known to Jerusalem her abominations and say, Thus saith the Lord God to Jerusalem, Your origin and your birth are from the land of the Canaanite. Your father was an Amorite and your mother a Hittite. As for your birth, on the day you were, you were born, your navel cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water for cleansing. You were not rubbed with salt or even wrapped in cloths. No eye looked with pity on you to do any of these things for you, to have compassion on you. Rather, you were thrown out into the open field, for you were abhorred on the day you were born. Verse 6, when I passed by you and saw you squirming in your blood, I said to you while you were in your blood, live. Yes, I said to you while you were in your blood, live. I made you numerous like the plants of the field. Then you grew up, became tall and reached the age of fine ornaments. Your breasts were formed and your hair had grown, yet you were naked and bare. Then I passed by you and saw you, and behold, you were at the time for love. So I spread my skirt over you and covered your nakedness. I also swore to you, entered into a covenant with you so that you became mine, declares the Lord. Then I bathed you with water, washed off your blood from you and anointed you with oil. I also clothed you with embroidered cloth and put sandals on a purpose, purple skin on your feet. And I wrapped you in fine linen and covered you with silk. I adorned you with ornaments and put bracelets on your hands and a necklace around your neck. I also put a ring in your nostril, earrings in your ears, and a beautiful crown on your head. I just wanted to just read that because I'm showing you the condition and state that, 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 that God shows about Israel. And notice, he, he uses he uses the analogy in the picture of a baby being abandoned, being being thrown away, almost at the verge of death. And so God says, just like this baby, just like this this uh, this infant that was cast aside and left for dead, had it not been for God, that baby would have died. He said, I curbed you. I said to you, why you in your blood live? I did this. I did. It was nothing that man did. It was all God. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 through 10. Ezekiel 37, 1 through 10. We all know the valley of the dry bones. So for the sake of repeating it, and for the sake of record, I want to say it, read it again. Verse 1. <clears throat> the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley, and, and it was full of bones. He caused me to pass among them round about, and behold, they were very many on the surface of the valley, and lo, they were very dry. And I got very dry and very many highlighted in my Bible. He said to me, verse 3, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. I got that highlighted too, Corey. Can these bones live? And Ezekiel says, O Lord God, you know. Again, he said to me, verse 4. Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you that you may come to life. I will put sinews on you, make flesh grow back on you, cover you with skin and put breath in you that you may come alive and you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold, a rattling and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And I looked and behold, sinews were on them and flesh grew and skin covered them. But there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they come to life. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they came to life and stood on their feet an exceedingly great army. And I read that because, again, this gives a picture and analogy of man in his condition until or unless God makes man alive. Man cannot do anything. And, so, the, and the question. Go ahead. OK, so so when you say he can't do anything, what can he do? 
uh, until uh, he has been made alive. And then I want to deal with this issue about being sure. made alive and also being dead. But what what prior to and I guess you're saying that. Well, first of all, let me, what, do, what do you mean by being made alive? You mean do you mean by being regenerated? Born again. Yes, absolutely. OK, Born so again. prior to that happening, what could man do? Salvifically, nothing. So salvifically, nothing. So once he once he's born again, he can then mm -hmm. do what? And, 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 and once I, he's made alive, you know, once he's made alive, now he's able to respond in saving faith to Christ. So because so once, he, because he's dead. So once he's regenerated, then he can yes. he can make the make the declaration of the profession of faith that Absolutely. Christ is Lord. Absolutely. In other there's, words, there's no can, one. Uh, go ahead. So in other words, he can he can choose God once the once he's been made alive. That's the only way he can choose God is once prior, he's made alive. Prior, prior to, to that, he, prior to regeneration, you could not choose God. Absolutely not. Okay, here's my question then. Sure. Uh, if we were to find anybody in Scripture who, prior to the Spirit regenerating the heart, that chose God, would would that would that be enough to say that you could choose God? without being regenerated you got a verse for that uh, no but I'm, i will but, I'm, but my question is though if we could find one or two i would love to see it i, I we'll get there but my question is if there is it's a it might be a big if it might be okay. a big if but if there's a passage that shows someone did or could or maybe multiple someone's could choose god before regeneration would that change maybe not that not regeneration, but would that change maybe the the view? Uh, I think we need to define what we mean by regeneration because maybe we have a different understanding of what regeneration means. Because regeneration I, means to be born again, to be born I, from above. That's that's exactly what I believe. Also, now okay. remember, and I, and I think I think this is a good time for, for people to hear kind of what I believe that mankind is depraved, but not so much to the point to where he cannot choose. He's depraved to the point to where he will not choose. And I think there's a difference, meaning that man can choose. As a matter of fact, there are passages we'll look at that man has chosen in the past and made a positive profession of faith. However, the difference is what man could not do is continually choose. Man could not have a life, have a heart to where he is going to be choosing or believing forever because you all you would agree with me. That when the Bible talks about a person who is a believer, a Christian, the Bible knows of no such Christian who is not in a state of continual believing. Right. We, we, we agree with that. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the, the issue is we've had people in the Bible who believed for a moment, but not continually believing. That, that that's goes, not genuine saving faith. Huh? It's not genuine saving faith. OK. That, but that's my, the parable of the soils. And so and so the, well, that's my point. My point is a person could make a choice to choose God, but not continually. You're right, because Jesus says that 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 uh, in describing uh, one of the seeds that it was temporary. They could believe right. temporarily. And right. through and throughout the Old Testament, we see people who chose God and even believed God. Matter of fact, the passage that you read where he's talking about uh, that he has made a covenant with them. Well, mm -hmm. let, let me put up on the screen really sure. briefly, uh, Exodus 19, 7. Mm -hmm. This is God telling Moses to go to the people. Give them this, this, um, this covenant. Ask them if they will agree. What do they do? So Moses, chapter, seven, chapter 19, verse 7, says, So Moses came and called the elders of the people and set before them all these words which the Lord had commanded. All the mm -hmm. people answered together and said, uh, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses brought back the words of uh, of the people to the Lord. And my point is, and there are other passages as well, where we see people in the in the Old Testament who did believe. Now, some believed momentarily. Some, there are some who believed even longer, matter of fact, believe completely. The only problem that we have with those people, such as the Isaiahs of the world, the Jeremiahs of the world, the Abrahams of the world, the Moseses of the world, we don't have a passage that says that they that they themselves were regenerated, that their faith was 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 the product of them being regenerated. Now, the problem with Israel and mankind is that 
he is he's wicked and he, he he's like a sheep he's going astray from the moment he's born and so we have this little waywardness about ourselves and so god decides that he's going to do something because if someone were to say that these people were regenerated prior to the holy spirit coming what jesus is speaking of in john 3 then we've got a question because the prophecy is saying what God will do in terms of regenerating the heart. So he says that he will, now we're using the term regeneration, but we know it's what he's speaking of in Jeremiah and in Ezekiel, that he is going to put his spirit in the heart, <clears throat> wash them with water and put his spirit, which is what we can also call or, or synonymous with being born again or being born of the spirit. So he speaks about what he's going to do in Jeremiah and Ezekiel. The problem is though, in Jeremiah and Ezekiel, it hadn't happened yet. So the question then is, how then did Jeremiah or Ezekiel or any of the Old Testament saints, how did they believe prior to regeneration? Faith. And so that, that was my question for you. Faith. faith, saving faith, faith in the promises of God to come. Now, but, let me, let me, but let me ask you this question because you, you said, you said that is it possible for a person to believe at one time and not believe again? So now that opens mm -hmm. up Pandora's box to another question I'm going to ask you. Uh-huh. Do you believe that a person can lose their salvation? Nope. That they can hold on. Let me let me ask you a question. <laughs> so, because you're saying no, but mm -hmm. but but you would have to by default because if a person says that they believe now, but they don't believe anymore, uh huh. Then what does that say about the saving power of God? Number one. Number two. What does that say about their profession? Because if it's all based on a profession, if it's all based on a profession that I believe, I believe, I believe, then Jesus said that you didn't choose me. I chose you, and I chose that you may bear fruit. Bear fruit, more fruit than much fruit. So mm -hmm. show me a show me an individual who has been truly regenerated by the power and spirit of God and they apostatize. There are there are none. There are, there are none. Okay, so that's my point. So 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 then well, we have to we have to aren't we, we talking to, about two different dispensations? No, but no, but see now we, we we both dispensationalists now. We both I'm dispensationalists. not dispensationalist. I'm, I'm yes, poor. you are. See, yeah, see, that's my point right there. Yes, yes, you, yes, you are. <laughs> you, you you do not believe that the church and Israel are synonymous, do you? No, I do not. No, I do not. Okay, so that, that's dispensationalism right there. Also, fine. You want to call me dispensationalist? Come on, bro. That's... And that's my point. That, see, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's my point. He don't want to be called the terms, but the terms don't mean anything. We, it just it just elucidates a well, belief or, or, or a system. Here, that's it. Here's why. Here's why. Because just like you've got different types of Baptists, different types of Methodists, you got different yes. types of folks who hold to a dispensation dispensationalist right. view, and so I'm not in any of those camps. Truth be told. Now, let me just say this. A person is saved by the profession of their faith. Absolutely. There's a big issue, though. A believer continues. The Bible knows of no such thing. We won't get into the Greek here, but the Greek, the Greek is clear. There is no such thing of, and, and, and Seiko agrees with me on this. There Absolutely. is no 100%. such thing as a person who is a believer for one day and then right. stops believing and then become, and then makes it in heaven. There's no such person whether in the right. Old or the New Testament. Now, I'll deal with the Old Testament in a second, but I want to make this part clear. In the New Testament, if a person is, their heart's regenerated, now the Holy Spirit is in them. The, the Bible says that they will be caused, and caused to walk in him. Oh, by the way, God says that they will never turn away from him and he will never turn away from us. And so a believing person never stops believing. If a person believes today and then stops believing tomorrow, he never had that saving faith. As a matter of fact, he was never regenerated. Right. And so I think right. that a person, a, a, a Christian will remain. A Christian will abide. A Christian, same word, by the way, a Christian will bear fruit. A Christian right. will follow continuously. A Christian will keep right. believing, will never stop believing. I believe that's right. what the Bible teaches. However, what I'm talking to you about is post-regeneration. Prior to okay. regeneration, we have a problem. We got a problem prior to regeneration because what's working in us and how we know salvation is not what was working in them. In other words, the Holy Spirit, we can't find a passage where the Holy Spirit indwelled man. Now, we've seen the times right. where the Holy Spirit came upon a man. Well, we find one with Ezekiel. We find one with Ezekiel. Okay. Just but, but, but we don't, we don't, what we don't see is That's anyone, not the point I'm making. Yeah. anyone being regenerated. So what right. does God do for salvation for these people who had faith? God has something going on that's unique to the Old Testament faith that's not here or present in the New Testament faith, which is this. They had they placed faith, but their faith was also accompanied by things they had to do, such as 
adhering to one, the Day of Atonement. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of that, because in the Day of Atonement, the interesting thing about that, which we'll get to uh, on this issue of limited atonement, but the, but uh, that you are in you are in right standing with the Lord for one year. But mm -hmm. then let's say in two weeks, in two months, in four months, I, I did something horrible. I did something real bad. Well, God also made a remedy for that as well. He gave us the ability to have these different sin offerings that we would give even. And, and, and there was no set amount of time or how often you can do it. But there were these sin offerings that were there that we would mm -hmm. also bring to the Lord because I feel bad. The, again, the thing is, though, their faith uh, was it was working in them now. If they were if they were regenerated, the problem is we don't have a passage that says they were regenerated. If they could not believe, we don't have a passage that says they could not believe. And so my only issue is, especially with the people who, who are, you know, solo scriptura, I need a scripture that says that they could not believe when clearly we've got passages that say they did. Exodus 4.31, Exodus 14.31 clearly says they believed. Their belief, though, was temporary. They did not have this regeneration to where they continually believe. Just like today, we don't have to observe any other sacraments or anything like that, any continual sacrifices of sin. We have one to rely on. That's, that's Jesus. They had the Day of Atonement, which was made for them individually, as well as the, the, the nation of Israel collectively. But then they had their own individual offerings that they could give as well. Now, was Moses, was his heart regenerated? Was David's heart regenerated? Was um, uh, Isaiah or Jeremiah or anyone else or any of the Old Testament saints that we, we don't know their name, were they regenerated? Pro maybe. Problem is, we don't have a scripture to go with that. But we do. We, we know. But we know that they were the Old Testament saints. So how 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 is an how is an Old Testament uh, uh, how is an Old Testament person a person that's under the Old Testament or under the law? How are they saved? By how, faith. How by by, by, so that's the, by so, faith, so by faith the, right? By faith in the atonement. Okay, so 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 they had to believe, right? Mm -hmm. How were they able to do that? Because in that same in the, in the same in the same in the same book, Moses tells them, "This is what you're supposed to do," and they say, "Yes, we will." And Moses, what did Moses tell them? No, you're not. You're not going to do this. You're, you're not going. You're not going to follow this. You, you're saying that you will, but you won't. That's what Moses told them. But there. So, but, but then, but the, aren't there people that did believe? Those who believe depends on what you're talking about by believe. Are you saying that they believed and they persisted and they kept on believing? Well, you now you believe by, 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 um, in other words, I'm saying, are you talking about they, they, they believe by mouth? Remember, they, they profess me with their lips, but their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. Well, so see, now, now you're over in court, my saying, territory. Now, now but, you're over in my territory. You're kind of making my point, though, Corey, because if a, a person can say that they believe, what is the difference between demon faith? Demons believe. Matter of fact, demons got better theology than most professing Christians today. The difference between their faith or somebody who believed temporarily in our in our faith is that ours is and is a present active participle. Ours is a continual faith. But how do we know that our faith is <coughs> genuine? How do we know? How do how do I know that you're saved, Corey? How do I know you're saved? Because ultimately, you, you ultimately you don't know. Ultimately, I mean, but how, how, but, but biblically, how, biblically, the Bible says we can know based on what we but based on fruit. Ba well, based on our based on our faith. Uh, and, and then we can tell by that we we can look at fruit, yeah, right, right? But 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 right. the fruit but the fruit is never absolute because again I agree with that. Okay, I agree with that. But I'm saying that the, the scriptures teach that we should know them in the context of false teachers and also in the context of of, of of brothers and sisters in Christ by their fruit. Okay, now it does not mean like you said it's absolute or it's, or it's going to be uh, foolproof, but it does mean that I can tell based on observation and a pattern and course of a person's life. That this person is a believer. If not, then we need to throw in gut First John three four through eleven out the text. Well, hold on. We Before we get to the New gut. Testament, let me let me let me bring a couple passages up. Let me bring a couple sure. old, uh, old Testament passages up. Sure. Jo Joshua twenty four, starting verse fifteen. He says, "If it is dis if it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourself today whom you will serve, whether right. the gods which your fathers serve." which were beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The people right. answered and said, far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord is our God, is he who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and who did these great signs in our sights and preserved us through all the way in which we went in and among all the peoples through whose midst we passed. The Lord drove out 
from uh, before us, all the peoples, even the Amorites who lived in the land, we also will serve the Lord for his God. So they make a, they make a, a, a proclamation. But then I want to pay, I want to uh, put this passage up. But hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Corey. Can we, can go, we go to verse 19, though, in, jo in Joshua 24? Okay. What did, what did Joshua tell him? You will not be able to serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will, he will not forgive your transgression or your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after he has done good to you. Okay. And the people said to Joshua, no, but we will serve the Lord. Joshua mm -hmm. said to the people, you are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen for yourselves the Lord to serve him. And they, and they said, we are witnesses. Then he warns them. So this, this is, he's making an appeal. He's making a one, just like we tell people in, Technically, technically. But wait a second, wait a second, Seiko. But wait a second. Did he say you can't or you won't? What does the text say? It says it says they won't. Okay. You're making my point, Corey. No, you're making mine. The point is, I'm not, I'm not saying, point. I'm you, listening. You, Salvation is, according to the Calvinist doctrine, is that man is so deprived that he because cannot. He is, I'm because saying he, is, he won't. He in sin, but he, but he, he won't because he's unable to. Again, see, see, well then see, how did how did how did Joshua? I think here, here's what I think, Corey. See, and this is this is the, I think this is the whole argument when people want to dunk on quote unquote Calvinists or the doctrines of grace. Y'all want to, and I say y'all just meaning those who don't hold to all five, which mm -hmm. is uh, anomaly me. But y'all want to pull the proverbial cart before the horse. What are we going to do with this dead body, Corey? What are we going to do with this dead body? What are we going to do with this, this, this okay. corpse that that to? is not that has not been made alive yet? It's like Y'all want him to do something, but we got to deal with this autopsy first. How how are we going to deal with this? Because th this this corpse is starting to stink, bro. Mm -hmm. the, the vibe that we're on, he, he's stinking. And so we got to deal with this corpse. We got to deal with this spiritual condition that has not been remedied yet. So what do we do with man's spiritual condition first? Is man is man dead or is he a little dead? Is he is he knocked out? Is he comatose or is he is he flatlined? Which one? Well, is he? apparently, and I'll, 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 matter of fact, I'll, I'll deal with that right now, but one of the passages that speaks to whether a person can believe, and we know they weren't regenerated, but they did believe, uh, the people of Nineveh. Jonah goes, and what does the Bible say? The Bible uses the word believe. They believed. Now, mm -hmm. what sort of belief? It doesn't tell us. And so if someone says that a person can't believe or a person won't believe, all we can go off of, according to the scriptures, because what I think what's happening is we're reading more into it than it's there. It does not say that they cannot. It says they will not. But in, in Nineveh, they did believe. Now, we make the, the statement that someone is dead, such as in, in, in Ephesians. Is Ephesians 2? Yeah, Ephesians was, 2. Yes, sir. Uh, that they were dead. In their but does dead mean in a, an, an, an inability to respond? Or does it, or I would say Come that on, it's someone bro. who was separate. Why? Come on, well, sorry. Okay, so if Come we on, are, if, what? Just go to Ephesians then, because because right now, I, you know what I got, bro? I got my mask on because this 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 dead body you got right. We we gotta we gotta do this dead body, bro. I'm gonna keep my mask on until we until we get rid of this dead body. This dead body right now is stinking. So we gotta deal with the spiritual condition of man. Okay, we gotta, we gotta deal with this with this with this what the Bible calls. What man. does dead, dead mean? Is that first it of all we know it, we, it's not a well, literal. Well, dead. Look it up. Look look it up. And let's go to, let's go to the Greek and look it up. Because okay. he says it clearly. It's it. Well, it's, I don't it, have to look it, it up it, because it, we we know the word means necros. It means dead. But, but we what know kind what that of, hold on, hold on. But, what, but, but let's look at the, look at the context. Okay. Because the context determines the interpretation, right? It says dead in your trespasses and sin, not dead in your ability. But Corey, if no, man, see, if, if man, if man is dead in his trespasses and sins, and if, and if God tells or Jesus tells, who is God, tells mm -hmm. us that you did not choose me. But I chose you. Then in John six, he says, "No man can come to the Father." Okay. No man can come at no man. So wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's back up. Draws him. Let's back up for a second. Let's back up for a second. If I say a person is dead, let's deal, right. with, let's deal with this word first. Dead. Dead means that they have no ability, or maybe my or my take is dead means we're separated. For right. example. Okay. No the prodigal son. The no Bible problem. says, Jesus says in, in this parable that my son was dead. Now he's alive. The difference right. between when, when he was dead, separated. When he's alive. He's back with me. How, so, but how, how is, how is he, how was he made alive, Corey? 
by coming back. Matter of fact, by, matter of fact, how was how was he even granted repentance? The son came back on his own. On it. The, oh, so 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 you believe you believe man does have the ability to repent on their own? Listen to what I just said. Listen to what I just I'm said. Just I said in in regards to this story. Let's look at the passages that, that talk about someone being dead. We've got the the um, and I've got my my little um, where my little notes. I want to make sure that I, that I cover my actual my actual notes. One, we've got the prodigal son. Romans six says that we that we are um, that we are uh, uh, being dead. dead to sin. Does that and mean made alive and made alive to righteousness? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The word dead means if dead means inability to respond. That's certainly not what the word dead means in 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 uh, uh, Romans six. Couldn't the be. context, but the context, Corey, determines the passage. You you know this, you're bro. saying the context determines that dead means inability. I'm it saying does. dead does means he's separated. No, I'm does, saying that does, we does are not the context determine the passage. That's not what it says. The, I'm, the, I'm asking. Does not the con does not context determine it determine does. interpretation? It okay, absolutely so does. does. So let's let's go to the text. Oh, which text? Which one? Which one? The one that you the one that you cited. You want to go to Ephesians two first? You want to go to you want to go to John John six? We can 6? go to Ephesians two. Go to? We can we can go to uh to Ephesians two. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which okay. you formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. So that word dead means inability. Are you asking me or are you are you are you making you making a statement? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you, does the word dead it, it, here it means, it means unable to respond? It why, means why does it mean that? Ability. Well, let's look, look you want to look at the definition of it? The, the the word dead is the Greek word for necros, which means right, let's dead, of course. Of let's look at the definition of it. I, definition it, necros, right? I'm, I'm I'm putting it up on mine as well, too. I, I agree you with have, the definition have, of it. You have different but, clauses though, Corey. You have different clauses, right? Okay. You have different clauses. Figuratively, and I'm 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 reading from I'm reading from uh from Zodiades, figuratively, those dead to Christ and his gospel, meaning spiritually dead. Also, metaphorically, mm -hmm. in opposition to the life of the gospel, mm -hmm. example of persons dead to Christ and his gospel and thus exposed to punishment, spiritually dead. Oh, and let, guess what it has in here as a reference? Ephesians chapter 2. Okay, one. but you missed the point. You haven't said, you haven't answered the question though. I didn't this, answer the question. This clearly is a metaphor. Right, of course it is. Doesn't in opposition the, to the gospel. So here's it, the point, it, though. Wait a second. Wait a second, psycho. Wait a second, psycho. Dead, but it net. But even even in your discussion, even in what you just read, it does not say that that person is unable. So the person Corey, is then you're giving then you're giving man more credit than what no, God does. No, no, you're giving the word dead more credit than it than it. You're How, adding okay, more so to the what, word so, dead. So you okay? So are you okay? To make sure I understand what you're saying, are you saying that there are some people who choose? To be saved and and some who don't again just yes or no just yes or no do, do you believe no, that there are some people i'll that, say it again i'll say it again and those who don't I'll, say, I'll say it again sure. there are a bunch of people who have chose or who have placed their faith um momentarily in christ but it was not the same as what the bible not, describes it was genuine faith then bro it's I not didn't say faith. Plus, psycho. Psycho. I, I didn't say first John chapter two, psycho. Verse Hold on. Wait a second. You, maybe you're missing uh, understanding my point. I never said that people who choose momentarily are saved. That's not what I said. I never called that genuine faith. I never said that. That's what I never I'm said talking about, Corey. Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about saving faith. I'm talking about if a person is born again, they won't okay. fall away. They won't okay. turn away. Wait a second. To be in a state of continual believing, that with that requires, according to John three, according to Jesus. That requires a person's heart to be regenerated. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. That's not my point. Again, ultimately, ultimately, everybody that is saved, everybody that is saved, everybody who is saved is saved as a result of the work of the Spirit in them. That does not mean that a person could not make a profession of faith, but it not be genuine. They really believe that Jesus died for them and they chose to place a temporary faith. But then walked away again, according to yep. the parable of the sowers. These right. are people. These are people. These are people, according to Jesus, who believed. And right. Jesus literally uses the word believe. I'm not disagreeing with you on that, Corey. Now, out now, of the four soils, second, second, Corey, which one was genuine? Out of the four soils, we don't have to argue one? that. We but don't that's have the point to I'm I'm listen. That Seiko, this is the point. Because I think sometimes you guys get into the point where I'm gonna rush into it. I never said 
that the belief that anybody can have saving faith apart from regeneration. I never said that. I never said that. I said that anybody can believe, but only those with saving faith. That's a part of regeneration. I've done multiple videos and discussions on how a person is regenerated. John 3, Ezekiel, uh, Jeremiah, and so forth, Hosea. All I've, I've, I've covered this ad, ad nauseum. I'm not saying that saving faith for us especially happens apart from the Holy Spirit. That's not what I've ever, I've never said that. I said that mankind has the ability to believe, just simply will not, especially the kind of belief that we're talking about. The belief that's temporal, the belief that's momentary, the belief that's uh, mental ascension, man can do that. How do we know if that same kind of faith that mental ascension, that, that faith of the person who's not saved versus the person who truly is saved. How do we know the difference? Well, the difference is they're enduring. They're continual believing. The person who has that mental ascent, like Jesus talked about, they believed, or like Simon the sorcerer who believed, or uh, Nineveh who believed, or or the Jews in, 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 in Ezekiel, I'm sorry, in Exodus believed. That kind of faith preceded uh, heart regeneration of the spirit. It did. We don't have a pastor saying that somebody was regenerated by the Holy Spirit prior to John. We don't have that or prior to the cross. We don't have any Old Testament saint where it's told. Now, were they? If it is, if they were, the Bible doesn't say so. And the Bible doesn't say that they could not believe. The Bible says that their faith was different, though. It's clear their faith was different. Their faith needed the belief in these other uh, offerings and sacrifices. Ours is on the one that Christ gave. I said, ultimately, it shakes out the same way if a person can believe or is unable to believe. It works out the same way because everybody can, but nobody will. That's where God steps in and then does a work in a person's heart. So I'm not saying that a person can't give um, momentary, uh, 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 matter of fact, that's what I'm saying. They can only give momentary fleeting faith, not a continual faith. And the Bible speaks of two types of faith, especially when it uh, uh, relates to salvation. He speaks of a continual, matter of fact, most often in a present active participle, entering to the state one time of continual believing. That's how that's how believers are described. But able to believe for the moment, mankind has always been able to believe for the moment, but then his true colors end up showing up. And so because of that, what does God do? That's where God says that he is now going to give us his spirit and cause us to walk, cause us to remain, cause us to bear fruit, cause us to keep following. And so ultimately you and I and whoever else is saved, we're saved because of because of the fact that our heart was regenerated. That part we don't have to discuss. We don't have to worry about it. I agree with that. I'm saying, has there ever been a person in the history of the world that believed God? Yes, because the Bible literally says there are people that believe Nineveh did without their hearts being regenerated. Now, I don't know if any of the Ninevites actually are in heaven now. I, I, I have no idea. I don't know if, 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 if they believed and then they went back. I have no idea. So if you're going to say that a person in the Bible in, in the Old Testament could not believe, and I show people that did believe, then what is the... What, what, where, where's the argument? There is none. Right? Wrong. All right. So, 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 did, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna respond to your, your point because there are a lot of implications that you're making. <clears throat> okay. I asked you at the beginning of our talk, do you believe that a person can, can profess salvation, believe, quote unquote, right? And decide to no longer believe and fall away they lose their salvation you said emphatically no mm -hmm. okay if that being the case i said that opens up pandora's box to a lot of other implications which is why a lot of people attack the the once saved always saved uh, uh camp which is what i belong to and i hold to i believe that once a person is, has been genuinely saved by the power and grace and spirit of god they will not fall away they will not apostatize they will not take the mark of the beast and all that kind of stuff they won't because god has sealed them i do also believe that there are people who profess but don't possess we have that in scripture as well we have matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23 
Many would say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, we know that we know the text. Did we not do all these works in your name? I mean, you had Judas. The disciples didn't know that Judas was the, was the, was of the devil. He would he he casted out devils and did everything else that the others that the other other uh, eleven did. But mm -hmm. he was of the devil. So it's not about what a person says; it's about what they show, because that is the determinative factor that we know a person has been born of God. Now it is not the foolproof because we don't know the individual's heart. God does, but. I, based on your profession and pattern of life, that is how I can. Uh, that is how I can discern whether a person is born from above. Now, you have people who claim to be saved, but their conduct betrays that claim. So, if you're telling me that a person uh, can be regenerated, and I want to make sure I'm, 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 I'm making your, you're making your, your claim that you're saying, Corey, mm -hmm. are you saying that a person can be regenerated? born from above by the power and spirit spirit of God and 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 still turn away no I'm asking you a I'm question on my way I'm, down I'm, there I'm, I'm, listen I'm asking you a no. question because it's it's like you making circular making no, you're using okay. circular reasoning okay. because if you're telling me if we if we both agree that salvation is of God mm -hmm. right by grace through faith alone I'm telling you that if man is dead in his trespasses and sins, and then you want to get in this semantical game and saying, well, what does dead mean? And, we, and the context makes it clear. I got God to deal with what dead means. God says you, you and I, Ephesians 1. What does Ephesians 1 tell us? He chose us. Okay, Seiko, but Seiko, that, okay, 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 all right. Everybody he didn't do it based on our behavior. He didn't do it based on what you're right. Doing you're himself. right. You're right. You're right. We don't have the ability to stay consistent. That's our issue. We don't have the ability to believe what? apart from him, Corey. Okay, well, if that's the question, if that's the case, Seiko, how did they believe apart because from him in the Old Testament? That's what I, we disagreed by faith. By faith. So were the Ninevites, were the, were, the Ninevites, were the hearts of the Ninevites regenerated? Not all of them, Corey, just like the, all of Israel wasn't saved. No, 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 no. But the ones who believed. Were they were the were the Ninevites who did believe? What did the text say? They believed. And and how do and listen? How do we know that they believe, Corey? Because it says so. But no, 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 no. How do we know? Because it's, it's in the text. It's in the text. Let's go how to do it. How do we know that they believed? Let's go to it. And, Jonas, and can, can I make? Can we make a? Can I make one statement? There's a yes, sister sir. in your chat. There's a sister in your chat that I I, I want to make sure she understands something Ooh, real quick. What's her name? Because Reba Reba Ben. She says, "Sick or calm down." Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you're black, if you're white, but where I'm from, I'm from the D. I'm from Detroit. We have what we call barbershop style conversations. I'm pretty sure that there are some of you when you when 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 the Super Bowl was playing, y'all was amped up about a team who did nothing for you. I'm getting amped up about the word of God and about truth with my brother, who is a brother in Christ. There's no beef. We're not angry at each other. We're just men. This is how men talk. Okay, so I don't need to calm down. No, so I'm I feel. I, I'll be honest. Like I feel threatened by by your tone. And well, get over it. Get, get over it. Get over I, it. I feel. <laughs> listen. I feel. Listen. I, I'm, I'm about to report you to YouTube. Be honest with you. Matter of fact, I, you know it's what I said. You know what I said. Did. You, know what, you, you know what I said. Did don't you? I should have worn a BCBC shirt. That's what I should have did. I should have. Yeah. But listen. <laughs> but y'all, listen. Let me say this. So, it, it, uh, for sake of take take no offense to. To uh to to his excitement or mine as well, uh we listen we we we're both good or whatever he's passionate he's wrong, oh, going he's wrong but no I'm I'm kidding I'm kidding but listen I believe because I think and maybe 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 I could do a better job of explaining I believe that we are regenerated he chose us and so we choose him he loves it he loves us first and so that we love him. Right. We have something that's in us because the issue that was wrong with the saints in the Old Testament wasn't that I don't think, as far as I can tell, that they could not believe. The issue was they could not stay consistent and they would go to sinning and they would go to foreign gods. And what God kept doing was coming back to them and God would even have a remedy. God's remedy for the fact that they would not stay consistent was to give them his spirit. That's why he says, I will wash their hearts, put clean water in their hearts and put my spirit in them and then cause them to 
obey my commandments. And Jeremiah says that they will never depart from me and I will never depart from them. And so the issue is not, I don't think that a man could not believe because again, Jonah tells us that Nineveh believed. I don't think that now may, maybe the, the Ninevites were regenerated. Problem is we don't have a passage that says uh, the Ninevites were regenerated. I, I could listen. I'm open to being wrong on that. I need a passage. I, but I think I think I think you mentioned about dispensations, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't want us to conflate that. I do believe that we can glean from Jonah and see the principles that we can that we can pull from that, and mm -hmm. and that is repentance. Uh -huh. Even though even even though even though uh, um, we may not see other other uh, theological tenets, but we do see this, and this is in Genesis. I mean, not Genesis, Jonah chapter three. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at Jonah chapter Jonah, Jonah chapter three, verse. I started verse. Uh, Go to the verse one of Jonah chapter. Let's three. go to verse five because that's the point that I'm going okay, to get. Well, to. I, okay, well, we go to fine. one. We go to one because I, I, I just want to give people the context, but that's fine. Verse five. Then the people of Nineveh believed in God, and they called a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them. Can we deal with that word "believe"? I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you, bro. I'm, 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 I'm saying, but how did we know that they believed in God? Look at what they did as a result. Mm -hmm. They put on. They called a fast, put on sackcloth. From the greatest to the least of them. But would they be the, the first people? Have there ever been any Jews that believe, called for a fast, put on sackcloth and ashes, and then left? Sure. That's the history of Israel. Corey. Well, don't put your hair out. Don't you, put your hair out. When I, when, I, when I try to help you, then you just go right back and you just you just kick the legs from up under your own chair. I'm trying <laughs> to show you that I agree that they believed. Mm -hmm. And I do also believe that there were there were genuine believers in the Old Testament in Nineveh. Question, sir. That, I'm I sorry. got a question. I got a question, sure. sir. Sure. Were, were these Ninevites dead in their trespasses and sin? Every every man. Every how they how, how they believe? God gave them the gift to believe. What? Apart from up, uh, listen to me, Corey. No, what, what, apart what? from apart from God. The, the, Bible, the, the, the Bible, the Bible says, I, I ain't saying it. The Bible says, I, no, 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 no. I get post Christ. I get that. I ain't yeah. talking about no post Christ. I'm talking you, about pre and post post toasties, post Christ, post you, Christmas, listen, all listen, of that. Listen, can you stop spitting on your microphone? I'm, I'm, what I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. At <laughs> <laughs> where's Sharon? Where's, where's your wife at? Where's, where's your wife at? Come get this man. Okay. So, so look, look at what the text says. Verse seven. Okay. Verse seven. Ver, 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 verse six. The, then, when the word reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe from him, covered himself in sackcloth, and sat on the ashes. He issued a proclamation and and and, 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 and said in Nineveh, by the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let man, beast, herd, or flock taste a thing. Do not let them eat or drink water, but but both man and beast must be covered with sackcloth and let men call on God earnestly mm -hmm. that each may, here it is, repentance, even though they ain't said it, may turn from his wicked way and from the violence which is in his hands. Who knows, he says, God may turn and relent and withdraw his burning anger so that we will not perish. When God saw their deeds, that they turned from their wicked way, then God relented concerning the calamity which he had declared he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. Corey, that's repentance, yo. My question is, my question, okay. God fine. granted them repentance, Corey. So, I know oh, you want to believe it. So, so my question is, were these people's heart regenerated? Were, were, were they Corey, dead Corey, in their sins? Corey, I just said, Corey, I just my said question? to you, sir, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not backing down from what I said, You ain't got to back down, because if you're going to say- telling you, I'm, I just told you. Yes I just no. told you. In the under the old covenant, under the old covenant, their deeds were wrought with repentance. They heard. You see conviction of sin right here in the text. Mm -hmm. You see. You see repentance. Uh, you, here I agree. In the text, even though it's not especially stated. I agree with everything we're about to say. Right. So. Look, so. So even. Were they so dead? Even, yes, they were. But they were. They were not. They. They. They were now. They were now saved. Who made them alive? I, who. Who. God who did, it, bro? Who, God no, no, no. Did. Who, who God did. God did. Okay, fine. Who regenerated their hearts? Were, were they God, regenerated? God. God. Uh, under the oh, what, 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 was Abraham regenerated? I don't know. I don't know. That's the point. That's my point. 
That is my point. I don't care about doing all that. I don't care. About, listen, Sharon, come get them. The question is, were they regen were, were the Ninevites regenerated? If so, can I have a passage, please? Corey, Corey, Corey. Yeah. Corey. I, I, do you want to go to the commercial break real quick? No, no. Did you just hold on? Hold on. Did you just did you just say to me? Did you just say to me that you don't know if Abraham was regenerated? You got a passage? Abraham believed God and it was credited unto him as righteousness. Yep. 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 Give me the passage that says, but before we go to Abraham, right here. Corey, Corey, we'll Corey talk, hold on. No, wait no, a minute. Stay, no, stay here in Jonah. Stay I'm, here in Jonah. I'm not going nowhere. I'm 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 still about the fact that you just said. That our father Abraham, you don't know if he was if he was born again. Listen, all you, listen, 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 you Calvinist people. I'm I'm on I'm, I'm on you I'm on you Calvinist folk. Look at him. Look I'm on at you him, Calvinist him, folk. Look at him. I'm on you Calvinist folk. Tell me, please. Tell me, please, because you got listen. You cannot get on everybody else about where's the passage Bro. sola scriptura. You can't do Bro. that and then not give me a passage that says they were Bro. regenerated, that they were, me, or Corey. give me a passage that says that the Ninevites were dead in their Corey. trespasses and that they were. Corey. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you speak and give me, give me two, give me seventeen sure, and a half ahead, seconds. Ahead, Matter of fact, give me, give me four point three seconds. Give me the passage that says that they were dead in their trespasses and sin. Meaning that they were unable to respond. Give me the passage that says that they were regenerated in order to do so. That's all. Or are you assuming? You assuming it? Okay, so um, I'm, I'm gonna answer your question. Okay. The word regenerated is not in the Old Testament. It's not. It's not. But we find we find principles just like we don't see the word Trinity, but we would believe and agree that the, that the that the doctrine is true. Would you would you at least concede with that point, Corey? Yes, I would. OK, so thank God you, you agree with me on that part. Maybe we can get another point you agree on. OK, so if Abraham, David, the patriarchs. They believed God, they believe what God said, it was credited unto them as righteousness. Abraham is the father of, our, of the faith. We are his children if we believe and have the faith that Abraham had. Now, just because, and, and, I, and I use the term regenerated as a euphemism. I'm sorry. No problem. I'll roll, I'll roll that back. They were Old Testament believers. Mm -hmm. They were saints. Mm -hmm. Okay? They were saints. I'm going to see them in heaven mm -hmm. because of the faith that they placed in Yahweh and the Messiah before he even came. That was faith. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now I say that because nobody gets saved apart from saving faith, which Correct. is a gift, which is a gift. So if it's a gift, if it's a gift, is repentance a gift? I'm just asking, is repentance a gift? They got Please grant repentance. Yes, sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. 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 Is 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 faith a gift? Is faith a gift? Our faith is a gift. Yes. Is there any other faith that it's not a gift? Well, if we're talking <laughs> about the word believe, whether it be the, whether it be the Hebrew or Greek, there's saving, different types saving of faith. faith. Saving, there are saving faith. Are saving, faith. saving faith. That's a gift also for us. Okay. Thank now, you. Okay. What so we so, can't so, say. Here's so what we can't what do say. we have? But say, I'm though, sorry. Am I am I wrong in this? This is this is this is how I teach. This is how I teach. And I think it's healthy. I think it's a healthy way of teaching this. All right. I believe that we should say what the scriptures say and what it doesn't say. We're open to say, I think this. We're open to say, I think this is what's happening here. That's why I said earlier, it's possible that the Ninevites were regenerated. It's possible that God did do something in their hearts. It's possible. Problem is, though, I just don't have a scripture that tells me so. It's possible so, that I'm so, wrong about, about total depravity. I just don't okay, have a but, scripture. But, to, huh? But what about Jonah? What about Jonah 3? I mean, you, you don't want to mention Jonah. So you're saying that, the, that these Ninevites weren't, weren't, weren't saved? They weren't delivered? Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, we, we agree. They believed. We agree. Wait, 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 wait. So why are we talking about why but you you because you, you're you, missing the point. Psycho, psycho, the point is not that they believe, we're talking about what caused their belief. God what, did. What you mean? Oh, what wait, caused a second, their wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Are we saying, are we saying that the, the Ninevites were regenerated 
that the Lord put his Holy Spirit in the hearts of the, of, of the Ninevites and caused them to believe. I'm not saying he didn't. What I am saying is I don't have a scripture to tell me he did. So, so I, we can't we can't we can't deduce from from what well, we see. Right? What we can deduce, I think it might be easier to deduce, is that God didn't do that yet because God prophesies that he will do that to Israel so, and to the world. He will do that in the future. Why so, would he so say our, what he's going to do in the future if he's already doing it? So we don't have any examples of him saving people prior to Jeremiah. I didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't say we don't have examples. We don't have examples. But Seiko, no, no, do, no, I'm asking. I'm Seiko, asking. do we have a scriptural example of someone being regenerated prior to faith in the Old Testament? We're talking about a different dispensation now with us. That, we, listen, that's my point. That's that's why I, that's why I said I don't know why we were going to this dispensation part on this issue here because it's really going to be a moot point because we're going to be kind of like making semantic arguments because mm -hmm. I would I believe this I believe this that the Old Testament Old Testament saints were saved by faith. OK, they were let, saved by faith because God did that. OK, let me Abraham, say this. Let, 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 me, let me say this so we can we, we have to go ahead and move on to the next one, because it's clear. It's clear. Um, uh, uh, the Lord got to work with you on this one. It's, it's, it's clear. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. So you, you but know what, 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 what I want to do is this. What I want to do, is, I, I think folks understand you. I want to make sure folks understand me, guys, sure. especially sure. those who have never heard me say this before. I do not believe. I believe what Jesus says in John three, you must be born of the spirit. I believe that. I believe not that man is unable to choose Christ. Man is able, but just simply unwilling, unwilling. Some folks say, Corey, it's the same thing. That means you're a Calvinist. No, no, it's not. I'm sitting there arguing with a Calvinist. Um, it does, my point is that we can, we just don't. And so because of that, what does God do? God knows I'm not going to choose him. God knows I'm not going to continue to. God knows I'm be like that one guy. Yeah, I know Jesus. That's for real. It was on a Friday down the railroad depot. Not that kind of faith. The kind of faith that keeps us saved, that keeps us believing. That kind of faith whereby the spirit works in our heart. I believe John 3 is correct. That, that regeneration does precede faith as far as we're concerned. I also believe that there are people who could just not continually. I think there's a big difference now. So, so can I can I interject, sir? I I, I wish you yeah, wouldn't you, go you, ahead. Well, well, you've been interjecting me, but like a needle. Um, you keep saying that that man could, and I go back to the corpse because you 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 seem to have it. You seem to have an an animus to this word dead. I don't. I believe what the Bible says. You said, I believe we're to believe and say what the word says. God says that you and I were dead in trespasses and sins. He said, we did not choose him. He chose us. Mm -hmm. Show me a person who God chooses that decides now they don't want to be chosen. I agree with that. That's not, that's not, that's, that's not the condition of the argument. That okay, is not okay, the okay, contention. But, I agree with that. I, I, okay. But if I'm reading Ephesians 1 and after 1 comes Ephesians 2 and Ephesians 2 tells me what I was and what God did, how can you or anyone else go back and say, well, wait a minute. I have the ability in myself to choose God, to choose to be saved, bro. That's that that that's not that's not biblical. What that is, that's uh, that's semi Pelagianism again, again. I mean, it is Corey. again. When you say dead, we have to figure out what you mean by dead. I, I don't I, think I dead means inability. So, so then you, again, you're giving man, you're giving man the ability to do something for himself in a salvific sense, more than what God's word says. He I, no, says, I'm, I'm, and I'm using, I'm using God's word, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in play. I'm not placing something that God did not say specifically. So again, I say, I cannot, I cannot on my own. Um, believe God. I don't mean believe in a superficial fashion. I don't mean believe temporarily. Anybody can believe temporarily. Uh, Simon the Sorcerer believed temporarily. Was Anybody it, was, can was believe. His, was his faith at that moment? Let me ask this question. Was this was this belief in that moment that he quote unquote believed? Was that genuine? Was that was that anothen? Was that from above? Who? Simon? Simon. Yeah. Didn't say. He just said he believed. He's exact okay, same so, word, different tense. Okay, so, okay, no problem. So do you believe that a person can be genuinely saved 
from above and yet turn away. I said no. Why do you keep going back to that? Okay, because 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 that because we had we had to talk about Simon then. Because if that's the case, then Simon's belief was not genuine belief. Simon's belief was okay. In the parable of the sower, did somebody in, in, in the parable that Jesus describes, did somebody believe temporarily? You had three of them that you had three of them that believed on the surface, but only one, only one. What does belief mean? It, it, it means what it says to, to put one's trust in something. Okay. So this person, so this person trusted for the moment. Yes. But soon as, as soon as, mm -hmm. as soon as the mm -hmm. world came, mm -hmm. temptation or what have you came, mm -hmm. what did he do? Mm -hmm. He left. So we're not so so the the just the word saved, I mean the word believe, anybody can believe. The difference Which. between the person that believes right now for the moment versus the person who believes continually. Is just that word continually, which, which, which and brings what causes back to point, the Lord. continual part. What mm -hmm. causes the continual part is the Holy Spirit. A person must be born of the Spirit in order to have that continual part. I agree okay, with so, you on that. So, so Corey, so Corey, I'm back to the question that you mm -hmm. that you seem to be stumbling over. If a person, <laughs> if a person places their faith and trust, if they, we go, we deal with the parable of the soils again, right? Mm -hmm. Four of them. Three of them were not genuine. Same Greek words, same Greek words, but only one. Same Greek word that was in the first three soils. That fourth one also believed. But what did that fourth one? What did that fourth one do? What were the results of the fourth one? He, he remained. He, remained. he remained. He remained. Okay, so 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 he remained. The first three, they claimed to have faith, but the works. What were the works? See, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because the issue is this. The issue is this. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of catching some of the chat. I think everybody has just assumed that two things without giving an actual scripture to back it up. This this is my, my, my biggest issue with the solo scripture crowd. You might be right. You may absolutely be right in what you believe. But if you can't give me a scripture, then don't get mad at me because I don't take what you say. If that's so the case, I'm not, 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 not necessarily you, Seiko, but everybody no, else. No, no, no. I, I got, you. I, got you. You, I might as well be a charismatic. I might as but, well believe because if the scriptures do not tell me that the Old Testament saints were regenerated, stop saying they were regenerated. Stop saying that the God that that, that God put. I'm being now I'm being like y'all need to calm down. Stop saying that the Lord put His Spirit in their heart when He said they're He's going to prior to the, prior to, to Jonah, prior to uh, Exodus, prior to all those other Old Testament saints. The Lord had not determined that at that moment that He's going to put His heart in people and cause them to continually walk. That hadn't happened. He prophesies, he gives a prophecy through Ezekiel, through Jeremiah, through Hosea and so forth, that he's going to do that. So if you're going to tell me, and I'm seeing some of the Calvary people saying this, if you're going to tell me that's what he did, then doggone it, Mr. and Mrs. Soul Scripture out there, give me the scripture. Stop telling me to believe because Calvinists believe that. I do not believe it apart from the scriptures. That's all I'm saying. Show me where a person believed in the Old Testament and it was because they were regenerated. You can't find that. Stop titting. And this goes to you as well. If you're going to say a person is dead and mm -hmm. dead means in unable, well, then, all, then, then does it always mean, mean unable? Because Corey, Corey, I gave Corey, I gave you I gave you the definition. No, no, no. You gave me your interpretation. The no, definition. No, Corey, Corey, I, no, 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 sir. Okay. No, sir. You're not gonna do that one. You're not gonna do that one. I gave you the so definition. So was the part of the son dead? I gave you the definition in the context of how dead was used in so, scripture. So are we dead the same way to sin? I mean, if dead means if dead means unable. If that's what you're saying, unable. Un unable. Hold on. Unable to do what, Corey? They, unable. Don't don't leave the unable out there. Unable to do what? Salvifically. But what? No, 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 no. Because now you're adding to the word. What I'm not the adding word mean? It, 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 Corey, I'm giving you. I'm giving you Ephesians one and Ephesians two. Ephesians. I'm not, Ephesians I'm not making anything up. I'm giving you that, we were, that the state that we were in as a result of our disobedience means that we're dead. And I Corey. take the word. I take the word dead to mean separated, just Corey. like just Corey. like the prodigal son. Corey. Was he? Corey. Was the prodigal son Corey. dead? We have. We we have. We, we know that there are different kinds of death. Right. We have physical death. We have spiritual death. We have eternal death, right? Do it. Yeah. So, somebody asked me what was my definition of death. My definition of death is being separated, and that's it. Well, there's a, obviously there, there's a literal sense. We we, we clearly are. Do you agree with the three about, senses that I gave you? Do you do you, do you agree with the three senses that the physical, the spiritual, and the eternal? And the, say it again. Do you do you agree with the the, the the physical death, spiritual death, 
and eternal death. I, I do not, and I, and I, I believe that the spiritual and the eternal are kind of, are kind of like together. Yeah, yeah, but the but the eternal is where a person goes to hell, lake of fire, right? Yes. Okay. So so if if the case if the case that I'm making with you is if 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 Ephesians one tells us what God did for us, and Ephesians two tells us how we were before God saved us, the state that we were in, okay. not not so not we, the ability. Not the ability. Corey, Corey, listen. It, so can we go to Ephesians 2 then? We did. We go to, I'm sorry? We can go back to it if you want. Please. Let's go back and do it again. Because because maybe, all, maybe but, but now you're going to give me the definition that, 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 that's not there, though. You, you're going to tell me Corey, what I'm dead giving, means. Corey, I'm not giving you anything but what the scripture says. How, you say how that you we were like dead you? in our trespasses. I'm saying that Bro. we were sep The dead Bro. means I'm going to take wait, it. Wait, hold on. Corey, Corey, Corey. Could not dead and separated, depending on the context, mean the same thing depending on context yeah we were separated on yeah we were dead okay so, in that so, regard. so okay so hold on okay let me ask this question let me ask you a question then i, I I'm, I'm i'm gonna follow your logic i'm gonna follow your logic mm -hmm. we were separated from god right mm -hmm. who did that we did our sin did that oh our sin did that our sin did that adam's in that, that so okay we, we, okay okay so okay no problem no problem both. so so, so we're, we're separated right we're, we're separated right mm -hmm. we, we, would you would you would you you like the word estranged how about that you like the word estranged hey, I, if you want to use that word i, I, no I didn't problem. know where you're okay, going good, with good, it good, good okay good good okay so so how do we become like peaches and herb and become reunited how do we come reunited then how, how does man become unseparated from god who does that that's oh, obviously god that's obviously oh. what so so that's that's okay. God that's wow. God to, to to unseparate us to reunite us. What? Okay, say. But, but, say but I'm just I'm just asking. So psycho. so so psycho. you like the word separate, but you don't like the word dead. Psycho, psycho, psycho. I said our positionally speaking, us, mm -hmm. we were dead. Mm -hmm. God made us alive. Now I believe being made alive is um is what happens when we make this faith. And I do believe that every single person who's been regenerated will make this profession of faith. I believe that. I believe that's what it means to be, to be made alive. As a matter continue. of fact, John five, continue. Huh? Continue. John, like John, matter of fact, let me put this on the screen too. John, let me copy this and paste it. I want to put this on the screen as well. I should have brought my Hennessy. You should have brought something. You should have brought something. I knew I should have went to specs. I knew I should have All right, went to listen. Specs. And you were un unwilling to come to me so that you may have life. So I believe that when we come to him, which will happen, which will happen if we are regenerated. And so when we come to him, we will be made alive. That all is a gift. Mm -hmm. I do not. And, I, and so I naturally take the, the reverse that dead is being separated, which also we see being spoken of with the prodigal son who he says, my son, it was dead. Now he's alive. He was separated. Now he's with me. I do agree with that portion of it. I do agree with that. Are you with me? And so that's how I take dead and alive to be. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what happens as a result of the spirit. The Holy Spirit will regenerate us and cause us to make this profession of faith and we will be we come alive. We're not mm -hmm. talking about the New Testament saints. We're talking about the people in the Old Testament who did not have, at least according to scripture, that we can find, we don't have anyone being regenerated by the spirit. Is there a such passage in the, and I would love to see somebody in chat. Is there a such passage in the Old Testament that tells me that we were, or anyone, not we, but they were regenerated? Is there a such passage in the Old Testament where anyone who believed, they believed as a result of being regenerated first? We don't have that. That's, that's my only issue. You might be right. You might, but you can uh, uh, go to speaking. <laughs> Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Can Can you tell me why we stuck on the old when we're not even Old Testament saints? We're New Testament saints. I mean, I'm just asking. The why, reason why, why, why we're the still, reason why, why we're the stuck Testament? on the old uh -huh. because I gave my definition of why mm -hmm. I or my statement why I don't believe in total depravity. The Calvinist view is that mankind is unable. I believe that mankind is unable to continuously that we can at least fleeting for the moment make a profession of faith but it won't last there's nothing in us to make it last is, is that profession is that profession genuine i won't even get it i, I don't know no no all no, I no, 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 no all i can say is this though all i ever say 
Because the reason why I'm having this conversation is because you made a video about me. I did <laughs> because so the, the, video, y'all, y'all, if the video was the video was trashing Calvinist and it was a misrepresentation and that's I wasn't and trashing really, Calvinist. Really, 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 well, no, no, what kind of you, you kind of did. You kind, you kind of, you kind of was dunking on it. And mm. then you had what do you mean? And then you had, uh, and then you had uh, uh, the the neophyte, the seven month old, um, <laughs> just just making statements that he didn't know what he was talking about. And and I really wanted them, I, I really wanted them. But but, um, my my question though is, if you if you if you're if you if you keep positing that people can believe. Um, for a time. My question is, again, that you don't want to answer. Is that person's belief or faith genuine from above? That it came from God above? Because if you say yes, then we have a problem, Houston. We have a problem now with the eternal security of the belief. Can, can, let me ask so Now we're saying that the man, that to, man has the ability to... We're going to have to go to the, to, to the other section. We're going to have to go to the okay. other section, but... Yeah, because I, I I I told I told y'all, and, and I guess why why is brother Nail Mark saying that I'm pride? Well, that, that's okay, because there was somebody else that was saying if Corey goes to the Greek, it's over. I'm not, bro. I'm not afraid of no Greek. I, you I have be. no problem. I, I don't. I'm not, bro. You they, if you if, if you're a master mechanic and I got the tools, you may you may fix the car quicker than I do, but I'm not gonna be messing up. No, I'm, he's not. He's not. He's not afraid of Greek, guys. But but I'll I'm say not, this. Though. I sure ain't. I, so I, I don't know. I mean, I think that was Kairos that said that, bro. I'm I'm not afraid my, of that. My, okay, listen, my my, my 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 only issue is that, uh, and it may very well be that man is unable to respond. I don't have a defense because let me say this, guys. This has nothing to do with with this that we're talking about. But this has everything to do with everything that we're talking about in terms of the Bible. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good example to find a scripture and to hold to that, let that scripture be what guides. For me, I don't have, that's just for me. Mm-hmm. I don't have the guide to tell, I don't have the scripture, this is just for me, that tells me that the people who believed in the Old Testament um, were unable. I have the, I have a guide that tells me that, that it seemed like they were able, not continuously, and I don't see that they were regenerated by the spirit. I might be wrong. That's why, and and, and 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 I, and I so guess my question is, I guess my question, I guess my point to you is, is that um, we have David in Psalm fifty-one, mm-hmm. and in Psalm fifty-one, he 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 prays after he messed up with Bathsheba and committed adultery, you know, and and he asked for God to not take his spirit from him. Now mm-hmm. we know that we we both agree, we both agree that the spirit of God did not indwell, with the exception of, and with the exception of Ezekiel. With the exception of Ezekiel, um, it would I, I, even if you don't want to use regenerated, that's fine. But nonetheless, it was he, he was he was dwelt by the Spirit temporarily at that time in that mm-hmm. in that context. Um, but David says to the Lord, "Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and do not de- let your Spirit depart from me." So, even though we would we would we would say, and I would agree that we don't find quote unquote. Uh, Old Testament uh, uh, saints regenerated like New Testament believers, but that does not make them unbelievers because we we're, we're still dealing with a different a different economy uh, of 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 faith, which is really the overarching theme of both Old and New Testament faith. Mm-hmm. You cannot be saved apart from faith in, in in the Messiah. You cannot be saved apart from faith in what the Messiah did. Now, if that is the case, that we know faith is a gift. So I'm not for me, I'm not even trying to argue about who was regenerated in the Old Testament. My argument and my contention and my umbrage with you is, Mm -hmm. is that you are giving man more power and more ability to do something that the scripture says that he cannot do. No, what I'm saying with man is doing is that man, the, the problem that God has with man, the problem that he has with man is man's desire to want to sin. And what is hold held him back? What is the issue? Is man's desire to please himself? That's been the issue. And so, what makes him righteous can turn around. He can lose that righteous standing under the old covenant. Anyone that disagrees that we are in different dispensation, they're not reading the Bible. Under the old covenant, you can be righteous today, and then later on, not be in a right standing with God. The issue that brings that about is an issue of sin. And so what? And so God's remedy is in Ezekiel 36. He says what he's going to do. He says it in Jeremiah 29. He says it in Hosea as well. 
that he is going to give us his spirit and cause us to walk in his commands. Now, that being stated, I believe, and, and all I can go off of, guys, honestly, is really how the atonement under the old is set up, brought about in the in the new, especially in the New Testament, how we see it's done. And so my whole point is, again, I believe, and just for those who disagree who are not, not sure what I believe, I believe that if a person is regenerated, he'll place his faith in Christ. Place his faith in Christ, he will never, ever, ever walk away. I believe for us that the only way that we can believe in being in a state of continual believing is by the Holy Spirit. So now that that somebody said, what is someone says, matter of fact, this I think this kind of proves my point too. He says, Corey, what is circumcision of the heart? Is that by the Spirit? Yes. Was it necessary to make you a uh, true Israelite? Now, by, notice when he says, he says in Deuteronomy 30 that he would that he will circumcise their heart. Their heart wasn't circumcised. The, the, that was the issue. He says that he will circumcise their heart, and he tells us when he's going to do so. And that happened as a result of, of the cross. But now, that being that being the case, I want to go ahead and move over to the yeah. to the other issue. This issue this, of yeah, this, yeah, this corpse is still stinking though. But limit, okay. limit to me. Yeah, listen, I, I I prayed and hoped that I could, that I can get you fixed up right, but apparently I can't. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you're going to take the L on this one, but continue. Hold on. No, listen. Are you saying that regeneration precedes faith? Yes. Regen according to John, regeneration precedes our faith. Absolutely. And the faith Absolutely. that he's talking about is a continual believing faith. I, that's what I believe. Saving faith. Saving faith. That's what Ezekiel's talking about. That's what Jesus is talking about. So yes, yes. Now yeah, like 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 Sharon said, guys. Whether you're on this channel or uh, Seiko Woods channel, please like the video. Don't like Seiko. I like Sharon. Don't like Seiko, but <laughs> like the, like like the video. <laughs> anyway, now the other issue that that was brought up was this issue of limited atonement. Mm -hmm. I believe, uh, and let's 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 do this quicker than we did the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that the atonement propitiation was made for everyone, but not beneficial for everyone, only beneficial for those who are believing. What say you, Mr. Woods? Uh, I believe that the atonement was particular. It was specific because mm -hmm. God said it was. Um, I believe that when Christ died, he died for a certain group of people from all tribes, tongues, peoples, and nations. Um, this is uh, this is where I believe the work of Christ um, speaks volumes to what what Christ did on that cross. On that on that cross, um, Matthew chapter one verse twenty one said that thou shalt call his name Jesus, for it is he who will save his people from their sins now the the issue is is who is his people because he makes it clear who his people are mm -hmm. even when his even when his family came to him and said uh you know lord uh your 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 you mean your mama and your your brother he said who's my mother who's my my brothers and he pointed to his disciples and anyone else who who obeys and who follows uh the father is my is my brother and sister and mother and things like that right so now um when christ when christ died on the cross i believe that he died for his elect he did not die for the world and how do i know that he did not die for the world because when he prayed to the father in in john chapter 17 uh he said in verse 9 i believe i am not asking for i'm not praying for the world i'm praying for those whom you have sent me so if he died for the world the logical the logical conclusion and implication is then then would he not be praying for everyone in the world yeah but i but john 17 9 he's not even speaking about all christians he's speaking specifically in john 17 9 uh, but, but later in but later in john 17 he does speak about all christians okay let's put on the screen let's see if let's see if, if i'm right or if you're right and i am I'm right wrong one, wrong and you're one. wrong Absolutely uh, okay wrong. which is which is which is 
Not life which is, is not, possible. Not, which is not breaking news. It's not breaking news. For the words which you gave me, I have given to them. I believe the them is, is specifically the uh, the disciples. Of course. And, of course. and, and right. they received them and truly understood that I came forth from you. And they believed that you sent me. I asked on their behalf. Um, I do not ask on behalf of the world, but of those whom you have given me, for they are yours. And all things that are mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. I am no longer in the world, and yet they themselves are in the world, and I come to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, the name which you which you have given me, that they uh, may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, uh, I was keeping them in your name, which you have given me. And I guarded them, and not one of them perished, but the son of perdition, so that the scriptures would be fulfilled. So I think clearly he's speaking of continue. Uh, verse 9. Yeah, he's continue speaking on verse of 20. his, of, okay, I'll, I'll continue. Right. Yeah, you go to verse 20 right there. I read it to you. It says, I do not ask on behalf of those of these alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word. So oh, wait, he's so, not oh, talking. But- no, 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 but 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 you're talking about verse nine, though. You brought up verse nine as, a, as a, he's not he's not praying for the world. He's praying for his elect. He's praying for his disciples. But he says, "I'm not asking verse twenty for these alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word." Okay, and so he's not the talking point is, about the world. He's talking about the elect. And so and so even there, who he died for, who who he will save, who yeah. he he will save only the believing ones. That Absolutely. part is. But that, is, that, that does not negate the fact that he also paid for everyone else if they simply so then believe. So that means then that means hell has a vacancy sign, right? No, because, that no, no, don't, because don't because he won't believe. Because oh, wait, 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 won't but, believe. But if I pay if I pay your debt, Corey, nobody can make you repay what I've already paid. What? That's double jeopardy. If what? I pay your debt, if I pay your bill, say, say, say you owe your mortgage companies, you know, mm-hmm. and I, I go to your mortgage company and say, you know what, I, I, I'm here to pay Mr. Miner's mortgage in full. They can't come to you because I got the receipt. I got the receipt. I got, I got, I got the deed, and I'm giving it now to you. And they can't come back to you and say, hey, you owe us this money. Well, wait a minute. That's not. But, 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 but Mr. Woods said he paid for this. No, 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 no. You, I, I'm, I'm going to take your house from you. I'm going to take your house. I'm going to garnish you. I'm, I'm going to do. No. When Christ paid for my sins, I don't repay them again in hell because I don't believe. No. Anyone that Christ died for, they don't go to hell. That's universalism, bro. Any, any, the, the, the death that Christ died, he died for I, his wait, sheep. Wait, wait, he said, I'm, matter of fact, I'm not, I'm not saying that. that. I'm not speaking of, of, of universalism. Okay. Let, let me, let me, let me. Put this up real quick. I want to. I want to cover sure. some passages. I want. I want to cover some passages. Absolutely. You, Go right ahead, sir. You tell me what what they say. Now I know. I know your take on First John two two. I know your take on First John two. Let's put on. For the sake of argument, why don't you go ahead and, and explain it? First John two two says, um, and he himself is the propitiation, which the word halasmas, uh, which means a payment of our sins. And now, it, and it does not. It does not connote reception. It can, but it does not necessarily connote reception. But uh, he is the payment, the propitiation of our sins and not for ours only, but Mm -hmm. also for the whole world. Now, here's the funny part. It'd be very difficult to say that he that the hours that he's speaking of are Christians and then the world also is Christians as well. So not for Christians only, but for Christians that. That makes absolutely no grammatical or syntactical sense whatsoever. Well, well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, okay. that sounded nice. That sounded nice. But just, just say what the text says. Who is John talking to, right? Can He's we, talking to Christians. He's talking to his believers. He's talking to who? To, to believers. He says, my little children. So when he says, when he says ours, who's the ours he's referring to? He believers. He's, propiti- he's the propitiation for our sins. He's, he's writing to his, to his. The believers. To his, to, He's writing to a specific people, right? Yeah, the, the Christians. Okay, so he's talking to a Christian, his 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 little ones that he calls, mm-hmm. you know, and, and John, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so so he's writing to them, letting them know that Christ is the propitiation, the satisfaction for our sins, their sins, our sins, and not ours only, but also for those or for the whole world. Are you saying? Are you saying that the death of Christ is for every single person. Yes, I'm not. saying that the payment was made for everybody to, if they want to accept. Nobody want can to? ever did you go. Say want to? Did you say want to accept? Listen, to what I'm about to tell you. Nobody can ever, 
ever go before the Lord and say, I didn't have a shot. Um, there was nothing for me when clearly Jesus, is, John is not saying I'm paying, uh, I made payment for Christians. And then also says not only ours only, but also ours. Tell ours. me how you would, you don't even speak right. like that. No right. one speaks that way. The, con the, con the context makes it clear. The con John, you're right. The, the, the you're context right. Basically, he's, you he's are talking. He's talking. He's talking to his 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 followers, but he's not just referring to just his followers because he's saying that Christ didn't just die for you. He died for all mm -hmm. kinds of people in the world. It's not every single person that Christ died for because Corey, if that's the case, then no one would go to hell. Another no, 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 question no, 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 no. is this: If you say if you're saying the whole world that this that he he made it possible, right, that's what you're saying. He made he made salvation possible. Man, your question. Was Since, I'm asking you, that was, was that his intent? Just oh yeah, he made salvation possible for everybody. He's but, not, but, not, but not but not but not but not specific. Not effectively, no. Really? But it's possible. He stretched his really? hands out all day long to a disobedient nation. Not because he was just joking. Not because he, I'm not I, my hands aren't really no. They are stretched out. But you will not believe. We know he said he literally says not for ours only. Who are the children? All of the Christians. Not the. Oh, Corey, I, he's I, not I, speaking I of you. all the different types of Christian. All Christians. Corey, the black I'm ones, the white ones, the Jewish ones, the the, the Gentile ones. All Christians. Techniamu, tech all of them. I'm writing this to you that you do not sin. Not to mm -hmm. one specific Christian, but to all Christians. That part. Okay, so. Hold on. No now, problem. He says that yes, if sir. anyone right. sins, if any mm -hmm. of you, if any mm -hmm. of you, Christians, thank you, any of you, yes, any of you sins, mm -hmm. we have an advocate with the Father. That applies mm -hmm. to everybody who's a believer, right? So, so far, so far, all of this of belongs to every believer. So far, we we are so far the verse one we're discussing. Mm -hmm. This includes every Christian, right? Would you agree? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Jesus Christ is the righteous, and He Himself is the propitiation of our sins. So far, it mm -hmm. seems to me like He's still talking about all the Christians, all mm -hmm. inclusive. Yes, then he, he says, and not for ours only, but for the whole world. That's a heck of a contrast. He so, but for he's the word that but for, but for it, um, and also us um, Helasmas Aston Perry. Concerning the sins of ours, Uperi, I'm sorry, but the others. I mean, not, mm -hmm. not ours only. Uh, alone, you. he uses they, but Allah, Kai, Perry, but concerning the whole. Halu to Cosmo, which is the entirety of the world. So I'm glad you said that then. Let's just let's just go there then. If you if you so you're saying the whole world, right? Mm -hmm. Like 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 outcast, the whole and the whole world. The whole world, right? Everybody. He made a payment. He made a payment for the whole for world. Everybody. So yes. everybody, everybody's sin was paid for. No, listen. He made payment available. Here's the here's the oh, check. Where does it say? Wait, hold on. What does it say? Available. What does it say? That's payment? that's literally payment. what the word propitiation is. Remember, this oh, is so it was made available. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Not actual, this is not an Old Testament concept. This is an old covenant concept. That, propitiation was made for. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. When when the sacrifice was made under the old covenant, under the law, mm -hmm. when the blood was shed, who was it shed for? All of Israel or just certain ones that were believing? So the ones that was believed, that's what it applied for. No, 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 no. The atonement. The atonement? The atonement was it shed for who? Under the old covenant. No. All of Israel or all or, or all or just those who were believing? Oh, for Israel, it wasn't for the Malachites. For it, the, wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't for the Moabites. It, now, what if? Oh, no, so you made my point. So it's particular. Oh, no, 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 because you didn't get it. Because couldn't the Malachite, couldn't the Malachite, could a Hittite, could a Sojourner also take up this? Take a uh, 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 place. We're not talking about a could. Hold on, we ain't, we ain't talking mm -hmm. about could. We're talking about who the because the blood was for. made as for. See, people get this issue with prop propitiation. Doesn't mean that it was effectively taken or tender. I mean, I mean, accepted. I'm making payment. Now, your faith in this payment that I'm making is what's going to cause you to be saved. Corey, who was the atonement for? Was it the for the entire world? It was? So where was the Amalekites? Anyone that was among them. Stop. Is that, where is that correct? The, where, no, no, no. Where were the, the Amalekites 
appropriate that? Did the did the did the, did the Sidonians appropriate that? Could they was have it, was it for a particular? Was it for a particular people that the atonement was okay? For? Matter okay. Fact, matter of fact, matter even fact, with that, on, let's go. Let's okay. go back to Egypt. Let's go back to Egypt. Let's go back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. the blood on the doorposts. Who was that applied to? Was that applied to the Egyptians? For, for no. Why not? Because was, was there a blood shortage? Was there a blood shortage? A question again. Question again. No, 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 because here's the point that I'm trying to make. Because you, because you missed my point. You missed my point, Seiko. You missed my point. My point is, was all of Israel atoned for on the Day of Atonement? Was every was single Israel, Israelite atoned for? Uh, there was, who, who, who went for? Who, who had this sense of tone for? Not every single Israelite. No, not every single one. But was it available for them? Yeah, but you're not. We're not talking about that. See, you're going back to. Hold on. See, you you're going to the old covenant. I'm dealing with the new covenant and how and how salvation is is, is appropriated. Christ did not die for everybody because he made it clear. He who literally he died. said he, he did. did. Hold he, on. He said he my sheep. Said he did. No, he didn't because he told the Pharisees and said you're not my sheep. He told the Pharisees you're not my sheep. Okay, I agree with that. Oh, wait, hold on. So, so how is it that the Pharisees are not his sheep, but he died for the whole world? Okay, let's let, let let's let's make it clear. Let's make let's let's make it real clear. Let's 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 pull up Mr. Paul, Second Corinthians chapter five verse fourteen. <sighs> for the love of Christ compels us, having concluded this, that one died. That's Jesus for all. The word panto. Now somebody's going to want to say that that's not everybody, but let's see. He died for all. Therefore, all died. Now, who died? Just the Christians? No, he's not going back and forth between two definitions of all in this passage. He says he died for all, everybody. Pantone. So, 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 okay, so everybody. So, so that means. So that means in First John five. Hold on, wait a second. Let, let me finish making my point. You say if all means all, because if all means all, according to your kind of people, if all means all, and that's all, all means, then what do we do? All does. Wait a second. Wait, no, wait a second. Wait, let me to. finish. Let me finish. Let me let, listen. Listen. Yeah. Let me yeah. finish my point, ballhead man. Yeah. Yeah. My point is, all yeah. does not always mean all. All, each, every. Now, here's the question, though: Does he switch between the different uses of all in the span of a few words? Here, look what he said. Let's put it back on the screen. He says, "Christ died." Concluded that that he died. That one died for all. Now, if we're going to say that he died for all, if you're saying that he only died for a select few, therefore a select few died. No, all died. He And he died for all so that they who, the ones who might live, I mean, who live, might no longer live for themselves. So he's saying how it, how it effectively works for the ones who believe in him, but he died for the whole world. So and if he died for the so so if he if he died for the whole world, Corey, if he died for the whole world, no one goes to hell. No, the, no, the, only though Corey, no, the no sin has no. been paid for, Corey. The sin has been paid for. That's why I'm asking you. If a per, if, if Christ died for Just, his sheep, he's matter of fact, he says, I give my life for the sheep. He didn't say I give my life for the world. He says, I give my like, life for the sheep. Just like, just like under the old covenant, by the way. The mm -hmm. old covenant atonement is the exact picture we have for the Jews in the new covenant and the Gentiles for salvation day. It's the atonement. Paul even uses that word for the, the atonement. So now what we have is the exact same picture. Only difference is we have a better high priest. We have a better uh, scapegoat and we have a better uh, sacrificial offering. Now, if that's the case, when the, when the blood was shed in the camp of the Israelites, when it was shed on the Day of Atonement, it was made available, and you won't find it. You, won't, I, you, you might find it because there's folks that are kooky out there, but for the most part, Jewish scholars will tell you that that blood was shed for all of Israel. However, if, if one of these Jews there did not want to afflict themselves, did not uh, place faith in what was done, then propitiation was made, but it did not benefit him. We got the exact same thing. Payment was made. A uh, payment was made for those who would then believe. If you believe in the payment that was made, whether you believe or not, does not vitiate the fact that payment was made. Payment was made. You just simply didn't place faith in it. Nothing that we can do can take away the fact that the debt was paid. The debt that God required was paid. You not placing your faith in it doesn't mean the debt wasn't paid. You placing your faith in it acknowledges 
the debt was paid and beneficial for you. And now you are saved. And so now those who are his are saved because they're believing. If I don't believe does not nullify the fact that the debt was paid Just because I don't believe does not nullify that the fact that he died for all does so not nullify died, the if fact. He, if he died, if he died for all, Corey, mm -hmm. if he died for all, why does he not pray and intercede for all? You are, if you're going back to uh, to, to uh, John 17, 9, listen, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm I'm going to what Jesus said uh, he about said, his about his disciples. He he. And not just about his disciples. We just read what he said in John 17, 20. It ain't just, just, just his disciples. He says, for also to for those who believe through their word. And okay. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25 said he forever intercedes for those, not for the world, for his elect. Mm -hmm. So how does he die for everybody in the mama, but he don't intercede and pray for everybody in the mama? Make that make well, sense. Because he can, let's say I made, I'm, I made this available. Let's, let's just, let's just say if what I'm saying is true, if what I'm saying is true, mm -hmm. what he mm -hmm. did, he made available for everybody. Now I see over here, I got all the folks that actually end up believing. These are the folks that believe. And I'm speaking to them they personally. I died for you. I love you. I'm here to save you. Now these other folks over here, they don't think they need me. Now, I made it available for them, but they don't think they need me. But I did. Listen, I made payment the debt that the father required. If you were to simply place your faith in me, then it's, then, then it's done. You don't have to do anything. Now, the fact that they don't believe does not nullify the fact that I didn't pay the debt for them. They just didn't place faith in the debt that was paid. The same thing with the very famous passage we go to, John 3, 16. Jesus says this. Jesus says he's he gives an example of as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wood. I mean, in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. so, the Son of Man must be lifted up. That whoever that the believing ones, whoever the believing ones are, will in him have eternal life. So, the fact that he was now the serpent was lifted up mm -hmm. for all to see. Mm -hmm. If you looked upon it and believed, mm -hmm. you would mm -hmm. be saved. If you mm -hmm. didn't look upon it and believe, you wouldn't. But was the serpent lifted up for all to believe? Sure. That's why he goes to verse 16. This is how he loved the world. This is the same way he shows his love for the world. So he used the example of the serpent uh, that Moses fashioned lifted up. And so he says, so that whoever believes will have eternal life. This is the same way. So in this way, and I'm saying in the same way, because that's literally what it means in this way. Where's verse 16 at in the Greek? He says, who tells God, which is so in this way, this is how, this is the way that God showed his love for us, that he gave his son, that the believing ones, the ones that are believing in him, they will never perish. So he didn't say that he didn't do it so that, 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 that those who aren't believing aren't saved. I mean, those who aren't believing nullifies the fact that he didn't pay the debt. Are you with me? And so matter of fact, you didn't answer my question, Corey. What's your question? Did you hear it? When we ask, it the, ask it again. Okay. If Christ's death made it possible for everyone to believe, he made it available for everyone. Why doesn't he pray for everyone in the world? Why doesn't he intercede for everyone? If he died for everyone, why doesn't he intercede for everyone? Why doesn't he, why doesn't he call the world his sheep? Why is there a specific... because they're not only only the sheep are those that are following him. So wait a minute. So he says but then his sheep does not nullify wait, wait, what he wait, did. Corey, Corey, Corey. He said, "I give my life for the sheep." He didn't say, "I give my life for the world." I give my life for the okay. sheep. He said, he said, he says to he says I mean, Paul, Paul because does. Seiko. But but wait, but wait, Corey. If he says, "I give my life for the sheep," when does sheep? And world become synonymous. Well, because again, now we're talking about two contexts. In no, John we're not. ten, no, we're not. No, yeah, we're we are. Not. We're yeah, we are. Same if, if if I give my life, in, that's that's the atonement. In John ten, in John ten, he is making a comparison between those that follow him and those that don't. He's saying the ones that follow him are his sheep. Those that don't, you're not my sheep. He but says, he but never I, says I like that, huh? He says, I give my life. And I give my them. life for them. If you're following me, like, I give my life. But guess what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but you know what he didn't say? He what? didn't say that it, he didn't also turn around and say that I did not give my life for you as well because he said it elsewhere right, also. Right. He said it clearly who he gave his life for. And actually the church, he says the church 
is is his bride and it, and it was for his blood that he gave his life for his sheep the church acts chapter 20. hit the church the called out ones the ecclesia it's not the world it's those who are called out from the world he didn't die for every single person in the world because if he did then that's the, if that's the case then the bible says in first john 5 19 that the whole world lies in the lap of the evil one so are we under the auspices and power of the evil one satan because he says the whole world just like the same the same whole world that's in first john 2 2 is the same whole world that's in first john 5 19. He says, you and I are of God, little children, and the whole world lieth in the power of the wicked one. So are mm -hmm. we are we in the power and auspices of the wicked one? No, we're not, Psycho. We're Obviously, not. there's a there's a clear difference between those who are believing in him and those who are not. There's not a passage that says he did not. Listen, because I died for you doesn't necessarily nullify the fact that I or you can't say that because I say I died for you doesn't mean that I did not die for him. You can't. You don't have a pastor says that. When I, when, you when I clearly you have. Pastor said he died for everybody. You don't have I, pastor said he died for everybody. I just gave you two, Psycho. Oh, you did not. But, no, he, what you he, did was what you did was yes, you sir. said okay. Let me put him. Let me put him on Calvin. Just like you did with First John two, you did the same thing with First John two. You did with Second Corinthians. You did the same thing. And I, you did, you did a bait and switch. That's all you did. It wasn't a bait and switch, Seiko. What, what it was was what it was was Seiko. I took off the the, the, the Calvinist glasses and didn't read. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why you're calling it Calvinist glasses because, because you're the one. Because because Calvinists too. because Calvinists are the one that will say that he only gave propitiation for them. When right. Obama, so if, if if he if he says if he says in Isaiah fifty three, all we are like sheep have gone astray. Mm -hmm. He has turned in his own way. And he has called the iniquity of us all to fall upon him. Right? Mm -hmm. He also says in Isaiah 53, he says, many. It's not every single person. Where past we on? Let me so I can put it on screen. Go to Isaiah 53. And I'm not sure. I mean, Robert Roger Sermon said this is the coming from the guy who believes in soul ties. Yeah, I do. What's your I'm not sure what the point is with that, but okay. I mean, go ahead. I, 53 oh six. Okay, I'll, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but my point was is, on, is that which passage read, read that again isaiah 53 verse 11 uh and 12. 11 12 okay yeah isaiah, i'm pounding up on my end too hold on let's see i was reading a little smart remark that was in your chat as a result of the anguish of his soul he will see it and be satisfied by the knowledge of, of the righteous when my servant will justify the many as he will bear their well, iniquities i agree with that I, I, I agree with that. And I agree that 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 he will only justify, he won't justify all. Doesn't mean that, that justification is not available for all. He won't justify all, but he died for all. Two different things, Seiko. Two okay. different things. Okay. You can Seiko, dying for you doesn't mean that it's beneficial for you. Dying so for you. Saying, so you're saying that, that Christ died for everybody, but not everybody is going to receive the benefit of it? If they believe, if they simply well, believe, it, so they if, would, so if, but it, they so won't. If, so if they, so if they believe, which you believe, they have the power to do apart from from Christ. Well, again, what he if if you believe, if you believe, like Jesus says, did I not say that if he says, Eon, if you believe, you mm -hmm. will see the glory. Now the issue is, will you believe? Well, we obviously know that everybody won't believe, but he, but but Seiko, if I say, if I say that. Um, he made payment, propitiation payment mm -hmm. for yes. the world. Doesn't mean that I can try to pay my, doesn't mean that I'm now um, nullified from trying to make the payment myself. Doesn't okay, mean but, that you, I'm but not, you're saying everybody, but, you, but you're, you're, you're including, so you believe the atonement was unlimited, right? Yes, I don't. I don't believe. Yeah, okay, so, so don't believe, so, I don't right, believe so. in limited atonement. I believe in unlimited atonement. You believe unlimited believe, atonement. So, because you believe the word all means all. I believe all means all. Without okay, question. thank you. So, so, okay, so then if you mean if, if in, in, so in the passages that are used, yeah. Okay, okay, so if all means all, then you you believe that the that the whole world lies in the power of the wicked one. We are in this world. When we go from one verse to the next verse, then obviously the words can kind of change in meaning. But in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse fourteen, because sometimes all this is the this is the beauty of Greek, the different nuances. All exactly. can mean all, each or every, or each every. kind. Sometimes every. all. Sometimes all 
actually means everybody. Exactly. And, and how do and how do we know that it means that? Depending on what? The context, right? So let's look at the context. For the sure. love of Christ compels us, having concluded this, that one died for all. Now, the question is, is that all everybody in the world or just the few? The problem is, if you're going to say that this word all means just those who are ultimately going to believe, then therefore just a few died. But that's not what he's saying. All right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we already said that all does not always mean every single person. It can mean it can mean some of all types, all kinds. It can mean so. Each, are we every, saying all. in one verse? In one verse, all has two different. So all Con shifts. No, the, the context. No, that's not what I said. I'm saying the context. You're saying you're believing in universal atonement. No, I no. no yeah, I do. If I it's do. Uni if it's I unlimited, do. it's universal, Corey. Yeah, if it's I, unlimited, I agree. It's I, no, I, I thought you were going to say universalism because you because you snuck that in earlier. I was yeah, about to get on the plane, right, come that, down that, there. That, 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 that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of almost implication a little bit too. Because no, it's not Seiko. No, Seiko because because I made it available. That means if you place, saying, place faith if in it. saying that Christ died for the whole world, I'm saying that there's no one whose death that he paid for goes to hell. That's what? what I'm saying. I said there's no one's death that Christ paid for goes to hell. He paid okay. that. If he paid that we don't that we don't spend eternity in hell, and then you're telling me, well, you still have to believe. Okay, well, wait a minute. I know that I have to believe, and He gives me the power to believe. If 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 His if His atoning work was was made on my behalf, and I know that if my faith and trust has been placed in Him, okay. If you're telling me like a person, if you're, if you're telling me like a person like uh, Hitler or or whoever that's not saved, let's just say whoever is not saved, that Christ died for them, then why would they go to hell? Because they ain't placed their faith and trust in Christ. But wait a minute. But if He paid for it already, if the debt has been paid. Then they can't. They can't go to well, then hell. Why are you, okay. Well, then, well, then, then Seiko. Then, 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 then you and every other Calvinist. You and and I'm looking at Baptist uh, sixty-nine. Y'all quit talking about that faith saves us because it's not propitiation saves us. Stop I, saying it, you must no, say. No, it's you it's must all encompassing, say. bro. It's uh, all encompassing. No, it's no, all no, no, no. If you oh, say yes, that faith, faith in what saves us? Faith in what Christ did on my behalf. Okay, so what Christ did, He did, whether I believe it or not. I'm sorry. Faith, whatever Christ did, he did whether I believe it or not. That's my point. That's why I, I reject. I, okay, when you say whether I believe it or not, when you say whether I believe it or not, meaning if I don't believe it, that that nullifies what he did on the cross for me? No, no, no. Say, I, listen, I think what's happening. I'm asking. I'm asking. Let me tell you what's happening. Let me tell you what's happening. First of all, first of all, uh, I think you just... You, you're not catching this because I think this is just me. I think that maybe you want this Calvinist doctrine all the way through to be true. I, I don't. I don't. Now, I don't know why you're calling this this Calvinist doctrine. Like, but see, you, you it say is. you don't. You, you, but you say you're not dunking on it, but you, you continue to dunk on it. Okay, but my fine. Dunking Calvinist. Fine. But my, but but, my point. My point is, is this: if Christ yeah. died for His elect, and He says, "My does it mean He didn't die?" I'm sorry. It that, does it mean if I don't believe. Does it mean that he that, that he didn't die? No, it doesn't mean that. It means that he, that he still that died. Has to, that has nothing to do with well, anything. I'm well, saying what Christ did. He said, He says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me, and I give them eternal life. John 10, right? Mm -hmm. and, they, and they shall never perish. So he's talking about what he did and what individuals, when they place their faith and trust in him, they will never perish. So if that's the case, you're telling me that well, he 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 died for all of us every single person and if every single person he died for i'm saying to you based on what scripture has christ died for someone and yet they still pay for their sins in hell you're missing me you're missing I'm me let me say it again that's the implication. christ mm -hmm. paid the debt the debt okay guys everybody the debt that god requires yes for, the debt that's that that he required to satisfy him mm -hmm. was blood Mm -hmm. Not just any old blood, but his blood. Right. Christ made that payment that whoever the guy is that wants to believe in him, the one that's believing in him will not perish because I don't believe in him does not mean that he did not pay the debt that's required by from God to satisfy the debt that I owe. The debt that I owe was was paid. I just don't play, place faith in it. I don't do the, the, the easiest thing on the planet, which is to place faith in who paid the debt. He paid the debt. The debt's been paid. 
I take this as just like what he says, that he died, he paid a debt, he propitiated the entire world. Mm-hmm. Then my faith in that, it's the faith that saved me. The blood in and of itself, the blood in and of itself does not save me. Faith in the blood saves me. Mm-hmm. So the blood was made available for anyone who simply has the faith. I believe, going back to the beginning, though, anyone on the planet can place their faith in this blood. Nobody will today unless their heart has been regenerated. So that's my whole take. I believe that if if, if you stand saved today, you stand saved because Christ paid a debt and then your heart was regenerated to believe in that. The debt was paid prior to you even existing. But then now that you exist and you place your faith in it, you place your faith in what? In the blood. The blood is not going to evaporate, not going to go away. It's not as though it hadn't happened because you don't believe. The fact that you believe, you believe on what the blood did. The blood was given for anybody. The problem is, and when we get to heaven or those who go to hell, they can't say he didn't die for me. Yes, he did. He died for you. You simply didn't have faith and you had every opportunity to well, what about this person? Well, what happened was God saw that not not all 8 billion people on the planet are not going to believe. All the 6 or 7 billion previously are not going to believe on their own. You might seek after him for a minute because the word says that there are none that seek, but it's the present active participle, the same as, as those that are believing. There is no one that is continually seeking, enter into a state of continual seeking. There's none that do that. There are those that might seek for a moment but then they're continually seeking. And so, because God knows that, nobody will be justified in saying, but what about me, Lord? No, they won't be able to because I did everything I possibly could for you. And then you still rejected me. So now what am I going to do? To show how loving I am, I am going to place my spirit and regenerate some hearts of those whoever I will. Who? Don't know. He hadn't asked us for our, for, uh, uh, our approval on who gets regenerated. I do know this, and I agree with you with, with at least two or three of the other tenements of tenants of of uh tulip but the limited atonement no one because that's really not even how 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 the jewish old covenant even works and he didn't all he did was bring about a new way of it he made it available for everyone in israel though they may not have placed their faith in it and oh by the way any sojourner any foreigner who also wants to place their faith in the old covenant during that time, they also could have been had their had their sins atoned for and being right standing. The, not, I'm not saying what they could have had. I'm talking about who was it for. Well, That's all I'm talking about. Who well, for? he made it. He made it primarily for Israel, but it was available. Nah, oh, nah, by nah, the nah, way, nah, no, no, no. Nah, matter of fact, you just okay. You just proved John. He made it primarily for Israel, right? Not only for Israel alone, but guess what? The whole world. If the whole of course, world later on. Faith, of course, later on, of course, later, yes. Of no, course, no, 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 later. even then, because because question. Said salvation was for the Jews. Did he not say that? Did Was, was it only Jews that got saved in the old, in the old, old covenant? Said, Corey, you just heard what I just said. No, I no. said, Jesus said salvation was for the Jews. Of course, he broadened the scope of his of his, of his his redemption plan when? to when? Gentile. What? When, when, when did he broaden, broaden the scope for him? What you mean? What, what you mean? What did he? What you say? When? Okay, if when? salvation was for the Jews first, yes. Were there other Do you people, believe that? Do you believe that that salvation for the Jews first? It was well, for the Jews Roman first, says. but but guess what? It wasn't for the Jews solely. How do I, I know that? I didn't say that. Okay, I'm so so you missed my you, point. I'm Take saying up. to you, I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that he had a particular plan for his people. It was for Israel first, the Jews, right? Mm-hmm. Then Gentiles. Okay, so it's not. It was not for every single Jew. Romans nine. Because not all, not not every Correct. single Jew in Israel. Because will you believe with that? That when 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 Paul says, "Therefore, all Israel will be saved," or do you believe that every single Israelite is going to be saved? No, because he because he literally goes on and tells us which Israelites going to be saved. Hey, that's my point. That's my point. So all don't always mean all, but the sometimes all does clear. mean all, doesn't it, Seiko? When when so, does all so, mean all? Now when it comes, but now when it comes to salvation, now when it comes to now when it comes to his atoning work, now but when it, okay. It but but do, do, does it refer to all? Does all refer to all? Everybody, when it comes to all of us are in sin, all of us have died. Oh, does that, all mean all? Then oh, Romans 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 three teaches that, of course. Okay, and so do, and so does Second Corinthians that's five what he's fourteen. Talking about. That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about everybody's going to be saved. All right. So so say so Seiko so Seiko. The point is this: under the old covenant, yes. And again, deals with us differently in different dispensations. We'll we'll agree with that. And so under the old covenant law, mm-hmm. if Propitiation was made primarily for Israel. 
if there were a sojourner, if there were a foreigner who mm -hmm. also who also wanted to place faith in the propitiation made, also be have their they would be in the right stand. They would be atoned for. But that's for that was for those who believe, Corey. Not for every single person, Corey. Christ did not die for everyone. How do I know that? That's what I'm. You, you, because if he, if you he, know, Corey, my, my, if, my point though, you, you, you keep saying whole world and, and whole world means every single person Seiko. in context. Okay, so then, because he, he literally Corey, said the whole world. What, what, Corey? And that's why I say the First John five nineteen. He said the whole world too. So which one? Which one, Corey? He says the whole world of First John two two. He says the whole world of First John five nineteen. Same thing. So okay. whole world means so whole world mean every single person there, but it means every single person first John two two. Stop it, it not, bro. Okay, Stop. all means sometimes Stop. all, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes Come it means on, Corey. Every. Come on, Corey. It's the same John that said in First John two two that he is not just a propitiation for our sins, but for the whole world. He says in First John five nineteen. Hold on one second. We hold, are of God hold on. The, hold on one second. 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 Getting the um. I'm not getting the signal. I think it, I think it's buffering. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's buffering. It's, I'm looking at it on my end too. Um, it says YouTube is not receiving enough video to remain to maintain smooth streaming. See, well, I don't know why it does that, dog. I don't know why it's doing that. It's definitely buffering. Yeah, it's you. It's YouTube, man. All right, guys. Sorry about that. We got <laughs> we got a few people here now. Um, and what's crazy is I was I was kicking Seiko's tail, man. So he just, thinks you better leave that. You better leave them drugs alone, dude. Yeah, listen, I, I was. I said, I was no, ain't no joke. I heard. Here I was over here destroying Seiko, and then it just it just went. No, ain't no joke. You and them, <laughs> you and the demon slayers mess it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I guess I guess what we want to leave leave off at before we well, cut out again. I mean, what I what wanna... we'll do is let's we just we just kind of um, summarize. Yeah. Um, my point is this, and here's 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 I think the interesting thing about it. The the main part is it is possible to look at the scriptures and come to a different conclusion. Now, my take is this: is that if I look at it. If I for let me give you an example. Let me give you first for instance to make it clear. If I think that babies definitely go to heaven, um, I want a passage. Now, unfortunately, I wish there were more passages other than maybe what we look at with, with David's child, and that doesn't say it conclusively, but I just I believe that that God does so that when babies die, they go to heaven. I had a child that died. So yeah. I believe that. I have, now, two, I, have, I have two more passages that, that, would, that would support that, but continue. Well, they, they're, they're not definitive. That, that, that's the only point. We, don't, we, we just don't have, we don't have some of the things that we want to have answers to. We don't have the definitiveness that we would like to have. The things that kind of the be all the end all. We, we know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. That we do know. Uh, why? Because the, clip, the, strip, the scriptures. The, the, the You're scriptures buffering again. Are clear, huh? You're buffering again. It's You're buffering, buffering again. again. Yeah. No, I, no. Right now, it's, it, it's saying that I've got excellent connection. So right, okay. right now we're good. I don't know what that was. Though. I really don't know what that, yeah. what happened there. But because um, when I look at the scriptures before I get to the cross, and I don't think things change um, or or should have to change too much, but before I get to the cross, I see people come to God, then leave God. Come, leave, get in sin, get punished. Um, God brings them back. They repeat the, this vicious cycle, not just in the book of Judges, but all throughout the history of Israel. This is what I keep seeing. This is what I continue to see. And then he says his remedy for that is going to be to put his spirit in us and cause us to walk in that we will never depart from him and he'll never depart from us. Um, if I'm If I'm a Jew thinking this, I'm thinking a couple things. One, I'm thinking that <clears throat> um, I could believe my, my my forefathers did believe, but their belief was different. I also believe that as I'm looking at the passages, that what he did on on the Day of Atonement was made was made available for all, especially all of Israel, though all of Israel did not benefit from it. And so I understand 
that there are those that believe that yes, that this that this propitiation is only for the world. But as I look at it, I see the propitiation for not just for those that are believing, but also for those who don't believe. And then my take is shame on them for not believing in what God made propitiation for. That that's just how I look at it. And so I, I would I would say that uh, that Christ's death and his atonement was for a uh, a particular people. I believe that because he said that his purpose for coming was for to save his people. And we know that his people were not just Jews, uh, but later initially it was, but later, but for all all kinds of people, Jew and Gentile. We see that in the in the in the in the uh, the gospel accounts. We see that in Acts. We see that through the through the other epistles of the of the New Testament. Um, I, I do believe also that, yes, words matter. I believe context is key. I, I do believe that the scriptures, when we when we understand and when we teach uh, what Christ did, that he had a particular purpose and he had a particular plan, and, and that is to save his people uh, from their sins. And he says not all Israel is Israel. So if not all Israel are Israel, uh, and he and he says that to even people that were ethnically uh, those that they, that he had called from other nations. But just because a person is a Jew, he said that doesn't mean anything if you haven't placed your faith and trust in, in the Messiah. So th where, where I hold to what I stand on is what is what does the Bible teach? I believe the Bible teaches that Christ died uh, for the sins of those who, who, who believe. It does not mean that that his that his death could not uh, atone for every single person. But I believe that his atonement was limited. I believe his atonement was for a particular uh, people. Uh, and it was for the people that he has chose to save because he said that my sheep hear my voice. I know them; they follow me. He said that all of the father gives me will come to me and I give them eternal life. And so th that that I believe is clear. Um, I, I know that there are going to be differences with it. Uh, but I think also that there, that is why people um, we, we have these discussions and it could be spirited. It could be it could be feisty and things like that. Um, I, I, I think for me, this is good. I think it's a good discussion we need to have, because, again, like I said at the beginning, it shows us that we can have these types of de debates or dialogues and things like that and still walk away um, supporting each other and even uh, going to bat for each other when it comes to fighting against the real enemy of the gospel. And that is those who teach a different gospel. Mm hmm. I, like I said, so, and now I want to be clear. Cause somebody's going to say, Corey, you don't believe this. You don't believe that. I believe that you, so just so before we leave, so people aren't thinking, man, Corey, cause some people, I think what happens is sometimes people meet, miss the nuances or the point of the argument or the discussion. If you follow the channel, if any of you all follow the channel, you know that I believe uh, in a regenerated heart that leads to salvation. I've covered that before. You also know uh, that I believe that once a person is saved, a person has professed their faith in Christ, and they are a true Christian, one that the Bible describes as a Christian, a sheep, that person does not stop believing. That person is always a Christian. I do believe that if you are saved today, that you will never lose that. You would never lose that position. I do Now, the issue of the irresistible grace, I'll, I'll, I'll go along with that. Uh, now, obviously, it depends on what somebody means by that. And so um, I think that, <clears throat> by the way, by the way, let me just say this also. Uh, this is why I also believe I, I'm, I'm with Paul. I don't believe that we should have these. And I heard what you, what you said about it. And I, 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 just, I, I disagree with that, that I don't think that we should call ourselves. I'm of this because the scripture literally says don't do that. I understand that you can say that I believe in this in this way because it's just good to kind of help give a person understanding of, you know, what you believe or how you believe or whatever. But I still see, and I've seen this over and over again. I've seen it over and over again that when a person says that I'm this, what they end up doing is defending that for the most part. Why? Because it's just natural in human beings that whatever I've sided with, um, it's going to be that much harder for you to dis, for, for you to convince me that that is wrong. And what ends up happening is, and somebody can say, well, not me, but Maybe not you, not you specifically, but people in general, when we side, when we take a side that this is who I am, this is what I am, we tend to fight that. We tend to engage in, and Christians do it also, engage in this Christian tribalism where I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blood-bought Baptist, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Episcopalian, I'm a Presbyterian through and through, I'm a, I'm, I'm a uh, 1689 Baptist, I'm a, a London, I'm, a, I'm a London Confessional Baptist, I am a uh, Westminster Confessional Faith uh, Calvinist, I'm a, whatever. 
I am an Arminian through and through. I am a dispensationalist. What it, and I defend those things. And what ends up happening, I defend those things more than Christ. Not saying that's what you're doing, but I but I've seen this happen over and over and over. That's why Paul says, when one of you says, I am of Paul, one of you says, I am of Cephas, or one of you says, I am of Apollos, we are then, according to Paul, behaving like mere men. And he and I'm sorry, he doesn't give us really the out to say, uh, use these terms to describe who you're with, because he, he just says, don't do that, because we see what happens. I, I don't. I don't see. Where, where does he say don't do that? I think. I think it depends on the motivation and depends on the on the individual. The reason why I say this is because you have in the New Testament people being called disciples of John. So I think the issue is the issue is well because when because people they're not are, saying who they are. They just they're, they're just following John. But, right. but that's my point. But but still, even, but even with that, saying you're a disciple of, of John or saying you saying you're a follower. Or a learner of John. I mean, a learner of of John. So a person saying, and 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 the reason why I when I when I talk about quote unquote Calvinism, right? I talk about it in the context or in the um, in the realm of a of a theological discussion. I don't walk around uh, saying I'm a Calvinist. I'm a Calvinist. But but when I hear when I hear what what I believe is biblical doctrine being being dunked on and being misrepresented or being attacked, then yeah, I'm because that's like no different. Somebody saying, Okay, y'all Trinitarians, okay, well, we know that the word itself is not in is, is not in the scripture, but we see the concept clearly taught in the, from, from the old and new testament. So, I'm going, I'm going to always stand and 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 defend that which I believe is biblical without walking around caping for a man, uh, just because of who, just because of who. Uh, they are so. I believe. I believe that's a difference with that. I don't. I don't. I don't want to put on or charge people with something that the scriptures don't. Now, let, in, let me, in First Corinthians three, he does chide and he does rebuke the Corinthian church because of what they were doing. They were glorying and boasting in who they were following instead of following Christ. So that is definitely a, a, a sin. And that's why I said it depends on the it depends on the individual. It depends on the motivation, and it depends on what they are or what they are boasting and glorying in. There are people who can be more uh, mature about these things, but for the most part, even as blood bought Christians, even even those who have the Holy Spirit in us, um, we are still prone to do what what the flesh um, likes. Uh, if I say I'm not a Calvinist, every Calvinist that sees that video is going to have an issue before they even watch the video. If I say I am a Calvinist, every person that's not a Calvinist and is against Calvinist is going to have an issue with the video. Before this is what we do. Not everybody. Right. Not right. but some do. And so that's why I'll never say, even if I did believe in all five tenets, which I don't, but if I did believe in all five uh, elements of the, of the tulip, I would never say that I am because Paul Paul literally says, don't do that. What if does he say don't do that at? Well, let's, he says, now I exhort you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all agree and that there be no divisions among you, but right. that you be made complete in the same mind and in the same judgment. For I have right. been informed concerning you, my brethren, by Chloe's people, that there are quarrels among you. Now I mean right. this, that each one of you, it, it, he, he gives a detail. Well, each right, one of you right. is saying, I am of Calvinism. I am of Arminianism. I am of uh, dispensationalism. I am of whatever has Christ, because it's the same thing. If we just take the, the Paul, the Paulus, the Cephas, and place in the different doctrinal camps that we, that we ascribe ourselves to, it's the same thing. Has Christ been divided? It doesn't say that 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 any of these people are wrong, that Paul is wrong, Apollos is wrong, Cephas is wrong. Certainly Christ is not, but the point is this, though. That is, we pigeonhole ourselves and place ourselves in these camps. That's why you have these folks that are so anti-Calvinist. I mean, you have these folks that are so pro-Calvinist or who might be anti-Armenian. By the way, people keep asking me, I, I'm not Armenian, guys. I am not Armenian. <laughs> I'm not Armenian. Okay, but people who who fight tooth and nail for someone who has the audacity to disagree. Let me just say this. Let me say this. There's not one perfect school of doctrine. Not one. I don't care if you have five or ten point Calvinists. I don't care if you're an Arminian, provisionist. This say, there is not one group that has their doctrine all the way right. I believe that. I believe that. And I've seen that. And certainly there's no one doctrinal school uh, where their actions and behaviors are are perfect. And so this is why Paul says that, because what ends up happening is you've got people who place their faith in Christ, who are, as we say, show enough saved, who might be Armenian, who might be dispensational uh, in their in their uh, in, in their in their way of reading and so forth, who might be Calvinistic, who might be provisionist, who whatever, on the same team fighting. Meanwhile, the main enemies are getting by because we're fighting over these things, not if we believe in Christ, but 
How does that all work? Let's lift the hood and see how this works. And so that's what we're talking about. Because I, a lot of folks are still wondering, what do I like? I've, I've stated what I've stated before. If I had never stated, here's what's funny. Here's what's funny. So, so good. I think everyone has to agree with this. <laughs> if you heard me teaching, the overwhelming majority of folks in the chat were like, yeah, I agree with that. But then if I said I'm not a Calvinist, huh, you're not? Or I am a Calvinist, huh, you are? If it wasn't for the fact that I threw the label out there, then we, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. The fact that somebody said, hey, Corey, you're Calvinist? I said, no. Well, then other folks bought in this. That's the only reason. And that's why Paul says don't do it. Because what, what ends up happening, we start dividing ourselves up. We, we'll get a guy who says that Calvinism is, is, is unbiblical. We'll get another guy that come over here and says that, that if you're not a Calvinist, uh, then you don't know your Bible, right? We start doing that to each other. Meanwhile, we'll let somebody pass who is casting out demons out of babies, who out, out of two-month-old babies, which is happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, we'll let people just forsake what's clearly taught in Scripture because we're over here fighting about, well, let's see, I think you have to regenerate. You know, and, and not that it's not important. All this stuff is important. It absolutely is important, but not to the detriment of the body. That's I it. Agree. I agree. And so that's my. No, this guy. That Does anybody believe I'm, I'm an Armenian? Does any, I'm, I'm not an Armenian. I'm not an Armenian. What, what do Armenians believe? I do not believe you can lose your salvation, my friend. I believe that the Holy Spirit indwelling in you, you are sealed until the day of redemption. That is a seal placed upon you. And that he, it is an autobahn, the Greek word, it's a down payment until you reach heaven. That's not Armenian. Matter of fact, that's anti-Armenian. So I'm not so Armenian. I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to say this. So, and, and I guess we can kind of wrap it up. That's up to you. But so we talk about Christians, right? We wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, have a problem being called a Christian. Well, that's are, we, the, are we, are we, are we called, are we told to be called Christians? Well, it's all, are, yeah, no, well, well, well way. he says, Peter says, don't, don't be a spirit or, or shame when someone calls for being right. a Christian. Christian right. is not, because that's what, that wasn't, that's just simply being who we're following. Now, I if agree. I say, it's different to say I'm of Christ. Point. But it goes back to my point about John. You have disciples that were followers of John. I'll, what I'm saying is, it. I believe it depends. I, I do not, I do not believe in any of us walking around boasting in no man. I just, I don't. But I do believe when we when we read the scriptures, we have examples that show us and teach us that, hey, you have people that were called Christians first in Antioch. Right. Acts 11, I think 11, 20, 26, I think it was. Um, but then you also, uh, like you said, with Peter in first Peter 4, 16, if anyone suffers as a Christian, there's not to be ashamed. Right. Mm -hmm. So. So. But you don't but you don't see in scripture saying from now on, call each other Christians. No. They were, called, they were called followers of the way. That's the way they were called. And, 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 and there is there is a difference if I say that I am of Christ versus I am of anything else. I, I understand that, but but I'm saying you had you still had people who were disciples of of men, and they weren't they weren't castigated and bashed. It, it it only became a problem, like Paul said, when they were causing. That's the issue, causing divisions. It wasn't the issue of them of who they were following. It was who they were following and them them making themselves better than somebody else because they weren't following them. We find that as an example where Jesus' disciples say, "Wait a minute, these people these people are casting out demons, but they're not, they're not following us." And Jesus said, "Wait a minute, hold up, bro. Uh, if they're not against us, they're for us." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that that's where we have to be careful. You know, with that. That's just that's just my point. I'm not, I'm not I'm not telling people uh, that it's a sin. To do that, I, I believe you need to check your heart. Check your heart and check your motivations on, on why you are saying or boasting in, or I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, a, a blood bar Baptist. I mean, it's it's the motivation and the attitude I believe on what comes up in those types of discussions. We we should be, yeah. I'm a Christian. I'm a Bible believing Christian. Whatever. I mean, and if that's your preference, that's your preference. But if I say, hey man, listen, I I, I hold to the doctrines of grace. Oh man, you one of them Calvinists? Okay, bro. I mean, it, it is. I mean, we can have a conversation. I mean, yeah. But, if they want to call you that, you, that's that, that's fine. But I, I would say this: I would not go around with 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 the banner of it. Um, now, if someone says, "Oh, you you're Calvinist," what whatever. You know that that that's on them. You can't you can't make another person um, be mature. But as for us, we should do it because I, for the sake of the body, would rather not have um, the divisions that we have as many that we do have. Because again. I think the main point, the most important thing 
is that we preach that Christ had shed his blood mm -hmm. and that if you place your faith in that, you will, will, will be saved. Right. And the love of Christ compels us to do so. And I think if we, if we focus on that most important, right. because the right. world that we live in is a world that, that I, excuse me, obviously is going to hell. The world that we live in, if we, if we did our job more so, we'd have a lot less hell than we have now on this, on this planet, because we just don't, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors yeah. are few. Pray therefore right. that he sends laborers. Well, we're praying that someone else goes and do the job when we right. ought to be doing it. If we say we love somebody, if we say we've got so much Holy Spirit in us, if we say it shouldn't be people who are um, radically um, charismatic, um, aren't, are, are less ashamed or, or are more bold than we who actually have the majority of the truth. That shouldn't be the case at all. I believe right. that the that that the uh, the spirit of the Lord saves and saves completely uh, to the uttermost, and I think we right. ought to be preaching that. And so I think it's good to have these. Don't get me wrong; I love having these discussions. I love going through it. I wish that more folks would actually just track with me as we go through this. And folks are like, you know what? I think I see your point. I agree with you. I'm I'm of the, I'm of the opinion because I've seen it happen that when we go through through, through the scriptures. Especially when the Bible says we'll, we'll adopt certain principles, we won't do this, mm -hmm. we won't do that, we won't do this, and everybody like I agree, I agree, I agree. And then when we get to the different points that you might want to agree with or disagree with, you're going to hold yourself accountable to what we said. For example, when we have the Bible studies, we say that you cannot, if we're in Exodus, you can't go to Malachi, you can't go to John, you can't go to Philippians to prove your point. Why? I want you to divorce yourself of any preconceived notions, of any doctrine, of whatever it is you think you believe. Let's stay with the text and say what it says. So if I say on what, when was Satan cast down uh, to the earth? If you give me a date, if you say before, <laughs> then I'm going to say you're wrong. If I was grading papers, I'd give you, I'd, 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 I'd mark that wrong. Why? Because the Bible doesn't say. Now, if you say, I think then okay, fine. I'll let you make it. But if you say this is when he, this is when Satan was cast down down to uh, to the earth, you're gonna you're gonna miss that that question because you gave an answer right. where the Bible didn't. And that's my whole point. And so how I was trained because it keeps me from one being too dogmatic on things that the Bible isn't totally clear about. Right? There's just some things he didn't tell us everything about that we want to know. Right. And right. so what I do is, all right, this is what it says. I'm open to it being right. That's like I. Like I was trying to get the point across, maybe I didn't do a good enough job, but I was trying to get the point across that these people may have been regenerated in the Old Testament. They may. I just want a passage. Other than that, I'll say no or not, or maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I don't see that. And so and someone says, no, I see it this way because, hey man, but I can't be too dogmatic on something that I don't have a definitive scripture, right? And so going through the passages as we go through, like, you know what? Because there was a time that I that I that I did hold to probably there was a time where I did actually hold to total depravity the way that Calvinists did, and there was a time where I held to limited atonement the way Calvinists did. And I'm not sure, I can't remember if they were at the same time. There probably was some overlap where I held to all five tenets of it, um, or four and a half tenets of it. So, and you're right. I said uh, I don't I don't believe that that we choose him. I do not believe that, guys. So I. And, if you guys ask me, I would tell you, I don't believe that we choose him. <laughs> I've had this argument before. I've, I've had arguments with people who, 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 who are against Calvinism. And they assume, well, of course, as you're arguing this, you must, you must be one of those Calvinists. Calvinists aren't the only ones that believe in election. <laughs> they, they, they aren't. Uh, it's not a Calvinistic doctrine. It's a doctrine that Calvin uh, and Calvinists have adopted because there's good biblical evidence to support that. It was, it's been there. So, Anyway, my point is, I would hope that people would try to remove as much of the label as possible and then start listening to what a person is actually saying. For example, uh, Leighton Flowers, who is, you all know who Leighton Flowers is. He, he is, if it's Calvinist, he's coming at you, right? And I think he's a good brother, but he has gone out to say that I am a Calvinist. Like, I'm not a Calvinist. Uh, and I've got videos where he's saying that if you believe this and you believe that, then that doesn't make you, 
then you don't believe in total depravity. You don't believe, and so and 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 a three part a three point Calvinist is not a Calvinist. He said that. Well, then why are you calling me a Calvinist? <laughs> well, because I feel like saying I I've, I've got this thing where I'm I'm dealing with Calvinism, and so what ends up happening, and I've said this about him before. I I, I love the man, I really do, but I think that he sees Calvinists too much, and I mm. think a lot. It, what happens is a lot of the followers of his see. Calvinist too much, and so everything's a Calvinist. Like the like the little right. boy from the Sixth Sense. I see I see dead people. Well, I see Calvinists right. all the time. I'm not a Calvinist, and so I thought it was just kind of funny. I was like, I'm not a Calvinist. Guys, a little video I made. I'm not a Calvinist. I'm not a Calvinist. Yeah, you are. No, I'm okay. Fine, fine. If if, if you want to call me that, then then fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you. If you think that I don't know what I am, then so be it. Right. So be it. Right. I mean, and I think I think that that's where. I try to have a conversation with people, um, you know, even even in the chat. You know, uh, I forgot the guy. I think his name was Robert uh, something. The second, you know, uh, came at me because I I hold to the position regarding regarding soul ties. Okay, fine. I mean, I know for people that's that's quote unquote reform that may be uh, may be foreign to them, but I'm like, okay, that's your that's your position. Mm-hmm. I, I I believe I can I can I can hold my own on it and can have a conversation with anybody about it. And it's not just some some charismatic and some type of neo Pentecostal thing. Um, but just because I I I you know believe that and people want to attack you for it. And I'm like, bro, if you don't want to have a conversation, then bro, let's not let's not even make the, these little pot shot comments. That's what and that's what any of us. That's yeah. what any of us. If you if you're gonna make public statements and public accusations, then you should be willing to cam up. If not, shut up. <laughs> I don't get my right. channel. Uh, 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 don't 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 get don't get my channel up. It's, it's, yeah, it's probably a simulcast. I thought I can say that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I would I would say this now, and, and I I try to do this when when someone is in the chats and uh, they're either misunderstanding misrepresenting they may be doing it unintentionally or intentionally fine every now and then you'll y'all y'all will see me kind of okay let me just deal with this person this person will be the featured um, right. comment commenter in the chats today and so let's just see if i can kind of walk you there have been a lot of folks on here who have said this 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 and then all right let's talk to you tell me this tell me that and then have changed so um <clears throat> No, Jay, uh, John McCarthy, he's, he's, he's dispensational, but he, he's what he calls dispensation. a leaky. He right. calls himself a leaky dispensationalist. Right. And right. so uh, the, the, the he's different pretty, He's pretty consistent on that. He's pretty consistent yeah. on that dispensational beliefs regarding, regarding uh, you know. people uh, who are who are hardcore dispensationalists. Wh- whether you go to a, a DTS or you go to a Tyndale or what have you, they'll say, no, the, he's not. Neither he nor is the Master Seminary uh, dispensational. But I don't care. Right. I don't care because rather than you saying that I'm a dispensationalist or a Calvinist or this or that, just listen to what I'm saying. Right. And I'm going to I'm going to make you if you say so, I'm going to make you give me the scripture. And I'm going to look at this in the context, who he's talking to, why he's saying what he's saying. And that's how I'm going to do everything. So let me, let me let's do this, though. Um, we've been here forever. But if you guys have a question. We'll take maybe two or three or four questions. And so if you guys have a question, real briefly, go ahead and put in the um, a big Q or big question um, and then ask your question relating to this. Not about anything else, but relating to to what we've been talking about. So not about um, Nephilim, not about uh, soul <laughs> ties, not about anything, but just this. My grandson's outside the door yelling. <laughs> So anyway, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a uh, an opportunity to go ahead and and populate your questions. That is, if you do. And so, and by the way, when I say, I, let me make this clear, though, guys, I'm not saying that Christians today choose Christ. I, I say for a fact that Christ chose us, then we choose Him. I'm speaking. <laughs> What's your question? Um, 1689. They said he put his question on the last one. Will all bald brothers go to heaven? Well, I've seen some bad, some bald brothers who I just know ain't saved. So no, <laughs> I would like, I would like to believe personally, this is just me, that uh, uh, Satan probably has a head full of hair. <laughs> I might be wrong. Do you believe? Uh oh. Do you believe? 
that a person can choose Christ as a act of his or her will apart from chosen or drawn. That was kind of the, the crux of the argument. Um, I think that um, salvifically choosing uh, is a continual thing. I don't think absent the Holy Spirit that can happen. Do I think somebody like like uh, who's described in, um, as Jesus described in the parable of the sowers, could choose for a moment? Yeah, we could choose for a moment, but it's temporary. As Jesus says, it's temporary. That's not that's not true saving faith. And so uh, there is not one person in heaven that that will be in heaven because they chose him first. Um, so you can answer this one. Can a person um, can a person lack the ability to believe, but at the same time have the will to believe? I want to believe, but I just don't believe. What do you think? Uh having having the will to believe believe what to believe to believe christ to be saved uh i believe that if a person if a person uh if a person's heart is 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 um uh, being pricked and convicted by the holy spirit to do that i believe the lord would complete and, and, and finish his work with that um no one said that christ is lord except by the power of the holy spirit you know paul says in corinthians so i think that if a person is if a person is coming to that type of realization uh, that they are a sinner and that Christ um, that Christ died for them uh, and, and that they have genuinely and, and, and sincerely uh, believe that and place their faith and trust in that, then I believe that that's something that, that, that is definitely possible because the scriptures teach that. Um, but if a person is saying that, you know, apart from God's saving work, that they can believe on their own, no, 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 no man can do that. Uh, they, they, and if they do, and it does not last, and it was not sincere faith and sincere belief. That's my position. Okay. Neelan asked me, what's the difference between can't and won't? Can't and won't. Want you. <laughs> one one deals with ability, one deals with the will. One, yeah. I, I believe a person's, if, I, I, I remember back in, back in the day when we were kids, uh, we would say, what well, they would tell us, you know, uh, can I have a piece of candy? They'll say, yeah, you can, but what are you, what, what, what should you ask me? May I? Because that denotes permission can denotes ability will denotes a a a, a motivation or a, you know something that you you want to do uh but can actually denotes ability i i can't i can't jump thirty thousand feet i don't have the ability to do that yeah. but i can fly thirty thousand feet in, in a plane that's something that's different monkey moon says uh, is pharaoh in heaven no pharaoh's not pharaoh's not in heaven because we know clearly he hardened his heart Somebody asked uh, Drew uh, Ike Drewski uh, at the bottom, I believe. Uh, Seiko, do you have videos related to soul ties? Yes, I do. You can go to my channel. Um, I have uh, about two, I think two, two videos. I think at least uh, regarding that under under BCV, you can pull it up there, and you can also email me um, if you uh, have questions about that, and and if anything is not clear, I have no problem trying to respond. Just give me some time to respond because I do get a lot of emails uh, throughout the week and other correspondence so but you can go to my channel and and uh and look that up thank you this this is probably more more so for me uh what do you think it means when jesus said nobody can come to me unless the father draws him and again uh as i'm looking at uh not just in this one but another uh passage as well relating to this that a person uh might there are those there there are pharisees uh, who believe, but they weren't, they weren't saved. Why? Because, um, for fear of the people, I think that a person who is going to come to him, um, they might, there are those folks who will say, yeah, I believe Jesus. There are some folks who might even want to do it kind of secretly, but the people that are going to be drawn and drawn continuously, because this is a, a constant walk. This isn't a one day belief or a, a two day belief or one week. No, this is a constant lifestyle of believing, constant following. And so that's what I think he means, that, that those people that are going to be that, the only way that can happen is if you be drawn. There are those that can show up at the party for the moment and then depart. They weren't drawn. They weren't of Christ to begin with. Uh, in their mind, made sense. It's a good idea. You know what? You're right. I keep messing up. I think I ought to get saved uh, tomorrow, though. Or, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to get saved. Why not? What the heck? It's a, it's a fourth Sunday. Uh, and then soon as, as Jesus says, that persecution, trouble, so forth come, they leave. Well, that's not the same kind of faith that we're talking about. And so I think a person could kind of in the head wise, a mental ascent come, 
but mm -hmm. uh, not in a, as a lifestyle permanently. No, they cannot, according to what Jesus says in John 6. No. Right. Somebody did ask a question, I believe it was uh, one. I'm, I'm, this one is kind of important because it's dealing with salvation. Uh, he said, my Who? brother, my, my uh, Will Leonhart, Leon, uh, Leonhart, I believe I'm, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, he says, my brother, I guess he meant to say my brother's gay. How can I reach him? He's lost. Uh, you reach him by, oh. number one, uh, let me say this first and foremost. Pray. I think we minimize that uh, because sometimes it's hard. I believe for kin folk to reach sin folk. Um, when you when you have family that know you, sometimes it's hard for them to hear the truth that you have to say, even though what you're saying is true. I mean, I got people in my family. Uh, you know, they 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 don't want to hear what nothing I have to say. So maybe somebody else that maybe may say the same thing that you're saying may be able to reach them. But you try. I mean, you can try mm -hmm. to have a conversation with them. Uh, I I would encourage you again to pray. Uh, I would encourage you to try to talk with them uh, alone and maybe pick a, a place or uh, a day where y'all can just go somewhere, sit down, you know, have a cup of coffee or, or you know, sit somewhere where you, it would just be you and that individual, you know, having a conversation somewhere where there's no distractions or anything like that and share your concerns, uh, share your concern and then let them know, uh, you know, that you love them, but you love them enough to tell them the truth. And I think that's what another problem. We think that love does not tell people the truth. No, love confronts, but it's how we confront. So um, help them to understand that their that their lifestyle is a, is an offense to a holy and righteous God. Uh, let, let them know that uh, if that if they persist in this, the end result of their of their of their life is is hell. Uh, but they don't have to, you know, stand that that God God can save them if they turn from their sin and 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 repent and trust in Christ. Um, and that let them know that there's no perfect per persons or Christians and nothing like that because people always want to throw that out there. Well, I ain't perfect. Well, join the club. That's not the issue here. The issue is is that how do we how do we see our sin uh, regarding God's word and what He says about us? So I think that that's what I, I would recommend. You know that you do uh, in, in that, but definitely pray for that individual and pray I that God give I, you the word. Somebody else wants to do that. Yeah, I think. Listen, I think you should do what we what we would do with anybody who is gay or straight. Uh, give them the gospel. Uh, I have, I've, 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 I've had some occasions to kind of deal with and minister with people who were um, having issues with their sexuality, either homosexual or even in their desires towards kids. And so the issue is not me giving them the right word. I, I, I can't find the words. I can't find the right program to get them to change their heart. I know one person who can't. I know one person can change their heart. And so um, our issue, the gay person's issue, the straight person's issue, the, the, the sinner's issue, uh, even the believer's issue, our ultimate issue is proximity, how close we are with him. And so if this person, that you, uh, your brother, give him the, uh, the gospel, give him the gospel, let him know that he's loved. Now, you're not sanctioning and compromising and giving approval to what he's doing, but you want this person to grow in Christ. I can promise you this, that as he grows in Christ, um, that desire to sin, whatever the sin is, is going to move away and they will be convicted. The Holy Spirit is not going to live in you and leave you unconvicted with your sin. It's not going to happen. So, uh, oh, what, let me, here's the fact that only God, Jesus knows whom he chose. Do you think us not having the knowledge, but the fear, uh, repentance and trust in him is how he causes us thereby he Okay, that's what you're saying. Do I think that 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 this thing keeps moving on me? I just look at it right here. <laughs> do I think or do we think that us not having the knowledge, but the fear uh, and repentance and trust in Him is how He causes us? I don't know. Um, I I know I know this. When the whole after your heart is regenerated, not only does it make sense to place your faith in Christ after this regeneration takes place, it makes sense to want to stay. There's something in you where now you're bothered by the same thing that the spirit is bothered by. Why? Because the spirit is in you. And so what bothers you is what keeps you sin. And what brings you is what keeps you love for him. And the whole, now how that works, uh, we don't, we can't, we don't have a, a, a microscope to look and see, well, this is, the spirit does this, to this particular nerve ending. It does that. It moves the hand. We don't have that. We, we just don't know totally. All we do know is what the result is 
of a person having the Holy Spirit in them and that we do know that the people that are in him have been chosen. That's all we know. We don't know who's going to be chosen. Like Jesus says, the spirit goes where it will. We don't know where it's going from or where it's going to. So it is of everyone who is born of the spirit. And so when we preach Christ, we're not out preaching. I need everybody who has been elected to come. That's not how we do that. Right. We go out and we just present the good news. And that if you happen to be believing on today, according to Matthew, John 6, you have life going on into the eternity. Right. So, Somebody say, you, oh, Lisa said you're three hours in, Corey. Yes, sir. Listen, I'm earning this today. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, listen. Ah. <laughs> Somebody said, what's, dude said, what's wrong with Corey? What do you mean, what's wrong with Corey? Tell me. You tell me what's wrong with me. Who, where's that? Somebody said, what's wrong with Corey? You tell me. I don't know. What's wrong with me? I'm trying my best. I'm trying my oh, best. Man. Oh, Lord. Christian, did you just ask me? <laughs> Christian, <laughs> he said, why doesn't Corey hold to all five, but only three of the four? We're not, listen, go back and watch. Join, yeah, did he just join? Yeah, he must have just joined in. <laughs> yeah. But I, listen, go, I've, I've go, covered go this before. Three hours early. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I've covered this before, guys. I mean, listen, it's, it's not, but I will tell you this, though, within, what is today? Today's February the something. So we got the 20th. Roughly a month until the Bible study classes start back up. I can promise you this, not, not guaranteed for everybody, but I can promise you this, a whole lot of folks that, that might be sort of disagreeing with me, when you start going through the class, I can promise you some of you guys are going to change. Oh, I see what you're saying now. And so maybe it's because I'm just not doing a good enough job in these, in these. I, I don't know, maybe it's, I think I must be doing something. But for some folks, again, I don't care who the teacher is or who the person is speaking Everybody is not going to be fully convinced. Ask Jesus. Ask Jeremiah. That's just how it is. And so I'm not bothered by the fact that some folks don't get it. I do hope that everyone gets my passion, gets my heart. And so if I'm wrong, hey, work with me. Pray for me. <laughs> so let's do a couple more questions and then we'll get up out of here because Lisa's going. Lisa's ready to uh, call YouTube on us. <laughs> uh, let me go to Madison. She says... You can answer this question too. Does one have to have the Holy Spirit to be regenerated? How does this line up with the Old Testament since they didn't have the... Hey, man, Madison, don't go. I wish Seiko got this. No, well, I, I, listen. Well, yeah, yeah, we already, already answered that question, but go ahead and try it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. You, you Take another Seiko, swing you, at it. You, you, listen, you, you it. missed Seiko messing the question up. He, he got it all wrong. I just said. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to have the problem that, that God had with mankind is their, their incessant desire to want to sin. God, I appreciate what you did, but man, I, right now, I'm, I'm down with this sin. I appreciate all the... Listen, I appreciate you, uh, partner Red Sea. I appreciate the manna from heaven. I appreciate all that stuff. I appreciate the earthquakes, the tornado. I appreciate all the stuff that you've done to deliver us. But, but right now, I got my eye on this Hittite woman over there. I'll get with you in a second, Jesus, Lord. Well, sin has always been an issue with God always been an issue with God. We have this wayward heart. So what's he going to do? He is going to, his solution is to regenerate the heart. And nobody, nobody, at least for now, the one thing that, that Seiko and I can agree on, nobody, 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 nobody right now past the, the cross gets in without a regenerated heart. Nobody. And so I think now, do you know when your heart becomes regenerated? Because someone asked, how do I know that I've been regenerated? Simple, when you've placed your faith in Christ. That, that, that's how you know. Uh, if you haven't done so, well, then your heart hasn't been regenerated. That's Now, I'll line up with the irresistible grace part on that part that something is working and you causes you that ultimately, because there's, there's no passage, because someone was trying to argue irresistible, against irresistible grace. Pa problem is, we don't have any passages that say that a person, once they have been regenerated, they don't come. We do have one classic text, which is Acts 13, 48, that all who have been appointed to believe did choose and so or did believe. So I think the Bible's batting a thousand or God is batting a thousand when it comes to someone having their heart regenerated and then placing their faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Let me give you let me let me get a question for um uh, for the OG here. Y'all do realize that even though, even though um um I look well, probably what would you say, Seiko? Probably ten years younger than you. I'm only a couple. No, I would not, I, no, I would not say that. I'm only 
Wait. <laughs> no, I would not say that. I would not lie. <laughs> I would I'm not lie here. for you either. <laughs> I'll tell him right exactly. Well, I'll tell the police right where you are. Yeah, he over here lying. Psycho hater. Psycho right <laughs> hater. Psycho's a hater. Why? How am I ducking you? What, what, this guy said, "Stop ducking you." I'm, I'm probably giving you too much time. To be honest with you. Oh, how am man. I ducking you? Um, nah, I love you though. Six eighty nine. Um, he said. Somebody said, Christina. She said, "Can you get? Can you answer my question based on the example that you gave regarding a gay person? In order for them to be saved, they would need to be a part of the elect. We, we don't know who the elect are, and 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 so that's that's it. So when, when the elect are those who are saved, that's how we know that they're the elect. But nobody knows who the elect are. Only God does. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit know who the elect are. Our job is to scatter the seed." Our job is to preach the gospel. Our job is to preach repentance to everyone. That's our job. It's God's job to do his job. But it's he, our job to go out and make disciples. It's our job to go out and evangelize the lost. That's what Would you agree with this? Tell me, tell, because someone asked a question, since we don't know, why then do we talk about it? Why do we talk yeah, about what? About election and so forth. Tell me if you agree with this. I say the reason for it is what it does it demonstrates what god did for us and how much more we should love for the person who and somebody might might be adopted out there somebody i mean legitimately adopted their their right. birth mother and father are not not the ones who raised them mm -hmm. i've got a couple of buddies good friends who were adopted their parents chose them and they they won they weren't the prettiest i, I can tell you for a fact they weren't the prettiest baby but then two oh man <laughs> Dang, I, they're my buddies i can say it uh but then two Dang. <laughs> Even after how they lived after getting adopted, mm -hmm. their parents still didn't get rid of them. Probably should have. <laughs> it shows how much their earthly parents loved them in spite of. I think the reason that God is that God brings this out in Scripture, because truth be, if he wanted to keep it a secret for he could have. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we would still be preaching. We didn't we don't have to know what's happening internally for us to still do it. Right. But just to know, like. You did that for me. Well, for we're me? commanded. We're commanded to do it. So, first of all, why do we do it? Why? I mean, we're commanded to preach the gospel. We're also commanded to teach what he what he taught. So, um, and and sometimes those things are not going to be popular. Like this conversation is not going to be popular mm -hmm. for everybody. Um, but we're commanded. If we if I'm if I'm Christ's ambassador and I am, then I'm commanded to say what the King says. That's yeah. it. I I, I, did, I listen. I tell people all the time. God wrote it. I just quote it. That's mm -hmm. it. I, I deliver the mail. I, I'm, I'm in the mail room, and whatever the 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 the, uh, the uh, mail master says, a postmaster says, then that's what I do. Period. So I don't I don't I don't determine um, and dictate the message how uh, God wants to have it done. No, I'm, I'm to say and to preach what thus said the Lord, and 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 we're not always going to get it right, but we don't make excuses for that. We should be making confessions for it yeah. and striving to do what what pleases the Lord going forward. Tell you what we're gonna have to do though. I'm 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 gonna try to get get some guys together, uh, maybe one or two other people on on kind of my closer to how I believe, and one or two other guys closer to how you believe, and let's just kind of have a a uh, not not a discussion about it, but a Q and A uh, that will also lead into us having discussion. Uh, Art Goon says, "Thank you for the super chat, by the way. By the way, the rest of you guys that because we were having the discussion." I did not get a chance to thank you all as well for the yes. chat as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yep. But he says, how can or can a Christian get their name blotted out? There's there's a passage. There is a passage in Revelation 3. Or just so I can mess with Seiko, Revelations with an S. <laughs> Revelation <laughs> 3, 5. That's so petty. He's <laughs> he says, I'm just going to attack me. Let me put on the screen. Um because I want you all to see, I think it's important to see what it says and what it doesn't say. I think that it's extremely important. It says, he who overcomes, and by the way, this is in the present active participle, the Nikon, the overcoming ones will thus be clothed in white garments. So if you're, an, if you're overcoming, if you're one of the overcoming ones, then he says you will be clothed in white garments. Now, before I continue, who are the overcoming ones? According to John, first John, by the way, John wrote the same passage, the same as well. He says the overcoming ones are those who have been born of the spirit. Very important. Right. So those who are born of the spirit are the overcoming ones and the overcoming ones will, according to this passage, 
will be clothed in white garments. And I will, look what he says, I will not erase or blot his name out of the book of life. For some reason, people take this passage to say, well, he says, I will not or never ever blot your name out. By the way, why do I say never ever? Look, let me make this a bit bigger in the Greek. If you notice where he says, I will not, you have what's called a ume in front of, look down at the bottom left, it's a future active indicative, meaning that it is impossible. He negates the possibility of a future act of negating or, or blotting someone out. Therefore, right. it's not going to happen. So my question then is, why then do people turn around and say, not you, but others turn around and take right. this passage to say that, you mean tell me he can blot us out when he just said, I will not, I will never, yeah, ever erase right. your name from the book. But he says, what I will do, though, what I will is I will confess your name before my father. So he says what he will do and what he won't do. What he will do is not blot your name out. And if you want to go to Revelation 22, 19, uh, unfortunately, guys, uh, for some, there are some versions that will have uh, blot his name out of the book of life. It's of the tree of life. Not a big difference in terms of salvation, but in terms of someone having a name blotted out, it is a big difference. And so what if it's not, 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 not what it actually says, but there is no passage that says that our names can be blot, blotted out of the book of life, period. So, um, but yes, yeah, I want to see if I can get some folks together. Not who, sure talk, who do you have in mind? I have nobody in mind. I, listen, first okay. of all, getting somebody to want to deal with you and me at the same time, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> Don't, it's going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> now these people see I, I know you hold to the last to the last tenet of uh of, of the of the doctrines of grace perseverance these people have persevered so these people are gonna these people are gonna have their, their right to the tree of life uh here so <laughs> yeah or the book of life <laughs> but yeah this this is uh this was good i mean you know uh but but dan did ask a question about john MacArthur. said would we would we ever want to debate him i, I would have a problem having a, i would like to have a conversation with john MacArthur. I mean, we have a lot of questions to ask this man uh, regarding recent developments. I, I would say uh, pray for him. Mm -hmm. uh, pray for Grace Community Church. There's a lot of issues going on over there that have yet to be addressed and dealt with. Um, and you, we can ignore it all we want. I believe that God's providence has allowed a lot of these things to surface and come up to the top. And um, we, we, need to, we need to avoid favoritism. We need to avoid bias and uh we are and, and matter of fact i don't know if you saw this corey we can wrap this up but i don't know if you saw this but you may mm -hmm. want to check out the last portion of the video that i did last night uh the boy Al Al isaiah saldivar had uh had went at uh ben shapiro and his denial of jesus being being god um so much so to whereas i used that video as a as a slam dunk against john MacArthur affirming Ben Shapiro saying that we we both we both uh, have the same God. No, we do not. Um, ben Shapiro does not have the same God that that Christians have. He denies the deity of Christ. He denies that Jesus is is God, let alone the Messiah. He said that Jesus basically got in trouble with the Roman government, and that's how he got that's how he got knocked off. I mean, that type of desperate language, disparaging language, bro. He said that on um, uh, what's uh, Joe Rogan said on mm -hmm. Joe Rogan's show. So I, this stuff, man, it's not it's not a game. We we need I, to be careful. I think with this. I think this is about MacArthur. Uh, I'm a fan of MacArthur, but that doesn't mean that I that there aren't things that I would that I would wouldn't call out. Uh, and I think that's just the same with me. I, listen, I'm a fan of Seiko. I, I'd call a, I'd call him out. I'm a fan of who I'm a fan of anybody who is in Christ. Uh, but doesn't mean that I can't call them out. And so if there's something, and I think the I think the the the, the bad the, the the worst part about all of this is with the whole uh, lady being put out is. Uh, I think it was a class, it was a, it was a, a, an opportunity missed. And here's what I mean by that. Everybody messes up everybody. And he's been in ministry for longer than you and I have been alive. And so certainly he's messed up. He's, he's made some mistakes. He has a, um, a, a ministry that most pastors would, would, would envy. He didn't have a whole. Now he's got some issues that need to be dealt with, but he's not necessarily a. Um, he's not a heretic, um, and so here's a golden opportunity to say, "Yeah, guys, we messed up," and you, it could be a teachable moment. And it also shows uh, the fact that we're not above saying that we messed up because that's not a church in, in America that had messed up. Not a pastor had, who had messed up. Unless right. your name is Jesus and you ain't at the pulpit, you've messed up. 
Right. So I think it was a good, it, it, it was an opportunity missed where it said, hey guys, yeah. Uh, and plus it was in the past. We messed up. Uh, we should have did this. But if you double down and say, no, we didn't. Well then, doggone it. it some, you did. You messed up with Eileen Gray. You, you just did. And I'm not uh, destroying you for it, but you got to be able to say, even the group around, yeah, I just, we, we, we didn't do that right. Everybody can say that. We messed up. Right. Listen, Sankos will go back and watch the video and say, you know, yeah, I messed up with Corey. I, yeah, I bit, bit off more than I could chew. Shouldn't have did it. <laughs> I, 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 only thing I messed up with, only thing I messed up in is letting this, letting this, 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 this person think that he, that he, that he won something. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. We got to wrap it up, bro. I know. We yeah, we do. We, Lisa, I'm Lisa, Lisa about to pull her hair out, bro. Let's see. See, she told me. Oh, oh man. You, look, uh, we, 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 we saw it. Right. Uh, uh, I, I, I think you need to check out. Because this is not this Eileen Gray is not the only issue that MacArthur has. There, there, there was another uh, abuse claim that just happened last year. Same, same. It's like a, the repeating cycle, bro. So this is not this is not a a one time issue that happened twenty years ago. This is something also that happened just recently, a year ago, where a woman was told to go back to her abusive husband. Uh, under the biblical quote unquote biblical counseling mm -hmm. of Grace Community Church. Uh so again, this this stuff is serious, y'all. And uh we need to be be on guard and guard ourselves from idols. It ain't yeah. just about the Mormons and the Muslims and the and the Roman Catholics that got idols. We got idols in our own camp. We need to yeah. call it out and deal with it. So I'm done, bro. I'm Bottom done. line and, we, and, and we're, we're ending everybody yeah. we we mess up. We we are full of messing up. And so um, we should be open to be wrong, to be corrected. But what we should be always doing is striving to get and be closer to him. Y'all, thank y'all for being here. This has been wonderful. Uh, I'm probably I'm not doing another video for another week. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm kidding, no. I got seven videos. I'm doing seven videos. Uh, because of how things are with me, I, I have the ability to just push record and so forth. But I listen, <laughs> the reason why we do this. Um, I do not spend a lot. I don't ask for a whole lot from you guys or what have you. You know, we're not you know money hungry, this and that or whatever. Neither one of us. And so, um, the main issue is the reason why I love the Bible and I love you guys. I love just saying, hey y'all, this is what it is. I wish I could do more Q and A's and so forth. Uh, <laughs> hey man, doggone. I'm sorry, Lisa. <laughs> but but I, 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 I cannot overstate it. The fact how much we love you guys. And so, um, the reason why we do this is just one for our edification, but also for yours. So, yeah. guys, thank you so much, Seiko. Thank, thank you, you so much, brother. This was this appreciate was, you. Appreciate it, my good. brother. Appreciate. I, know, I can't tell you how you know it's like gonna be a lot of folks gonna do reaction videos to this thing. So I can't that's wait. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Listen, guys. God bless you, and we will see you all when we see you.